Hello, everyone. Welcome hey. to the podcast. Hey. This week brought to you by Dollar Shade Club and Trunk Club. That's so weird. <laughs> there we go. There and there. Oh. I can see it so well. There, beautiful. there and there. Dollar Shade Club and Trunk Club. We'll talk like more facing about them later. Forward, Gus. Facing forward feels great. So I've got something to say right away. Right off the top. Are you the couch get... is fucking comfortable. Oh, get shut the This fuck sucks. Up. I am freezing. There's a vent in there that you didn't tell me about. I am cold. Gavin and I normally sit like <sighs> two feet apart from each other when we record the podcast. He had no idea the vent hits me dead on. It's, oh, wow. That is serious business. It yeah. sucks. I freeze every week when I'm sitting there. Oh, yeah. It's like pointed right at you. But I smile like a trooper. And we talk. Dude? Man, that, there's, like a, there's literally like a seven degree difference between here yeah, and Yeah, I'm going to take a picture of the vent. This That's is pretty entertaining uh, podcast, bro. <laughs> That's my view. Uh, there's no way to... Uh, I can actually feel where it is, but there's no way to, to describe it, so, so it's just cold. This week, we got... Gavin. Bernie. Oh, Gus. Barbara. And, and Gavin. Gus. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. So we switched some seats today, so we're being silly. Here's my problem with the fucking couch, Gus, is that I asked you and Patrick to buy a smaller couch so that we can make the podcast set more condensed. You guys went out and you bought a bigger fucking couch. Are you still bitching about this? No, you just... What is this, like a year ago? You just said... I mean, were we still really having the same conversation You again? just <laughs> said you were saying, like, the couch gets a bad couch rap. Couch is comfortable. The it's couch, not. People, people it bitch that the couch is uncomfortable. I hate he these couches. He almost broke his that. asshole sitting down on it earlier. Well, he went with a thud. He does have a, a gentle asshole. Do you think this couch is comfortable? <laughs> poopo. No, that couch sucks. Okay. This couch is awesome. Look at this. I put my arm right here. And I can get my beer right over here. Look, you can also put your arm on both armrests that you have on your comfortable chair. Look at this. Chair. I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Ooh. You're the only advocate for that couch. I love this couch. It's unbelievable. I've Patrick, been, you I've like been... this couch? I love that couch. Patrick loves the couch. It looks nice. In your fucking face, But you don't have bro. to sit on it every single week for an I'll, hour and I'll half. sit on it. Fuck it. I'll sit on the couch right now. I've been sitting on this. I've been sitting in Gavin's spot for exactly 30 seconds, and I foamed my beer up and spilled it on myself. It's something about that <laughs> spot. What happened? <laughs> It's what? like the, the vent hits there in your cold, and then like the universe is aligned to make your beer foam over. I'm gonna right get there. my fingers stuck in the bottle next. Hey, everybody, it's a podcast. So, I've been doing a lot of traveling. Yes. It, it, uh, it's been a while. I feel like a couple of weeks ago, all four of us were together. But briefly. Be yeah, and then before that, it had been. What did we do? Oh, I we had month. Carrie last time, right? I've come to the realization what? that I. You? This might sound a bit egotistic. From you? <laughs> From you? What? I am the best. Yeah. In the world, I'm the best air passenger. You're the best passenger. I'm the best passenger. What about me? I have, I don't know how you fly. You're probably you quite fussy. We're both good. Are we Is tired? this passenger of an airplane or passenger of a car? Of a plane. Just like I've never caused any flight attendant any issue. I've basically got on, silently like put my stuff away, sat down, and just done the flight and got off, and nobody's had to deal with. Do you me. ever ask for drinks? No, never. I don't ever. Ring, I've never rung the call button. But I took three flights recently. Each of them went across the Atlantic Ocean. Brag about it. And, <laughs> and I got hit every single time by a new... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Bernie I mean... grabbed the mic arm and Why? swung it into Gavin's face. All right, I won't tell the story. Can you imagine it was his cover? <laughs> you were... <laughs> the pause, the timing of the pause with you looking at it, it was, it was great. You, uh, you were a jet setter flying uh, across the, uh, the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, so the first flight, I get on the plane. <laughs> I'm in the window. So No, I'm in the aisle, and there's a woman in the window. She makes me get up after we've sat down to like fiddle with her bags. I'm like, all right. Give it a know, fiddle. Could have done that earlier, but whatever. Uh -huh. Then, this is still before we've, everyone's boarded. She gets up again and moves to a different seat as people are still boarding. Oh. So I was like, is, that, is this not your seat then? I, was, I didn't say it. I was just like, weird. Also, people are still boarding. Yeah. So how does she know that seat's then, empty? Then the people whose seat it is come along and they're like, you're in my seat. And she's like, oh, well, it didn't look very busy. And uh, so I just took this seat. And they were like, well, that's our seat. And, it, and the flight was full, by the way. Every single seat on the flight was taken. Which is very common these days. Yeah. Most flights are full. So she made me get up again. So I've got up four times for this woman. Like once for her getting in the seat, then getting out, then getting out, then getting in again. Do Annoying. you prefer being on the aisle or in the middle or the window? Middle. It depends. Window for an overnight flight. Aisle for a not. I, right, because you put your I, head on the wall and sleep? Yeah. That's Second okay. flight, right? Second flight. It was a flight to Germany. I get in. I'm in the aisle on the side. International flight. There's like a side bit. You were not sitting with the rest of the achievement hunters. Why? Because you booked separately? No, I just don't like flying with people. Good call. Please tell me it was the same woman next to you. No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn it. I get on. The German version. The, uh, the window seat's empty, so I know I'm going to have to get up at some point. 
the biggest, fattest German dude. Makes me get up. He sits there, pulls the armrest up. Oh, no. Yeah, because he needs when to I, fit. Yeah, when I sit down, he's spilling like almost halfway into my seat and puts his leg in my footwell. And I'm no like way. This, and I'm like, I can't sit on a nine hour flight next to this. Yeah. Then I was gonna, like, I was going to text Jeff something to like look out for him. He <laughs> saw me using my phone. He was like, let me call my wife on that. What? And I was what? like, are you crazy? Let me call my yeah, wife he's like, on that. I need to call my wife. You let me call my wife? I like he says on that. Like he's yeah. never seen a he's cell like, phone. Oh, phone? I'm familiar with those. I'm, I need to call my wife. And I was like, uh, I mean, it's not, it's, it's an English Unless phone. you're calling her to pick yeah. you up from this flight and right like, now. <laughs> he was like, don't worry, it's not long distance. I was like, what does that mean? Like, you, know who, where you, you don't know where my phone's registered to? Yeah. I'm English on a, an American flight to Germany? You don't know where I'm from. Also, well, maybe like, she was in his stomach. So <laughs> it's not that far away. He ate her just before the flight. He needs to call an ambulance. That was the, that was. The Did you let point. him use that, your phone? It's the worst. No, no, I didn't. And I lied to him and I said it, it wouldn't work. And then I moved seats because the flight wasn't that far. Oh, I moved to I a like middle him. seat in, in five. Like that was more preferable than being on the aisle wow. on an international flight. I, uh, I actually fucked up. On a flight, I felt really self-conscious and embarrassed about it. Yeah. Because normally I pride myself on being like a very con- conscientious flyer. I'm 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 very aware of other people. That's so laid back. I feel like I should I'm be laid doing. back. I'm just gonna lay back on the couch too. So it's I got on a plane. I got on a small couch. plane. One that had one seat on one side and two on the other. Crazy two seats. And my seat <laughs> was C, so I assumed it was the window. Mm-hmm. I sat in the window, and the dude comes up. He's like, "Oh, I think you're in my seat." Uh huh. Like, no, this is C. He goes, no, you would think that, but that's actually D. You're in the aisle. I was like, oh. What? You messed up? Yeah, I was like, I'm Gus really messed sorry. up on a flight. Yeah, I was like, I, I felt of. terrible. Like, at That's a moment, like wrecking like, your perfect attendance record. Yeah, I was like, what? Oh, yeah, you're right. <sighs> See, I will always take the <laughs> aisle seat if I could choose. Really? Me, me too. Because I hate, especially on long flights, like you would think I'd want the window seat to sleep. I would think but that. But I would hate to wake anybody up. That's why. Having to get out. Do you have to pee a lot? I, can I, mean, I just like getting up and walking around. Actually, Whether or not I'm actually going to the bathroom or not, it's just... I get antsy and claustrophobic. You want to see, see a picture of the guy who was... Who you was took a picture of him? Oh, I, I took a picture I after I moved. This. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> and then, actually, in the middle of the flight, he got up and started walking around and, like, put his hand all over Jack's screen. We, we like actually have down. a photo here. I found it <laughs> uh, on the internet <laughs> of uh, Gavin on his fly. <laughs> <laughs> Someone tweeted this to us. I'll give him credit in just a second. There's a comedian who had a whole bit about the etiquette of here, he the three oh, seats oh, on a oh, plane. That was uh, Hold That Ghost on Twitter uh, tweeted us that photo or that image. Look at that, I guess. Let me see that. That dude is real. That dude is chillaxing. He was just spewing across both. How many wow. pounds do you think he was? I don't know. Or uh, kilograms. That's rough. Oh, it's a big dude. He's like wow. laid out, yeah, like his head up against the window and just like he's already he's in Gavin's seat. You can clearly yeah. see he's in Gavin's seat. Well, he's lying down, so yeah. Okay, he's third flight. Himself. You know, sometimes where when you, uh, where did you fly? You fly well, three different flights. It was one of the flights was back from England and then it was Germany and then back from Germany. Gotcha. Okay. Third flight coming back from Germany to the U.S. You know, sometimes when you're on an international flight, you're watching the screen and someone like just puts their hand. On your screen, if they're like walking past you, no, in the aisle? just like in the in the seat in front, they like stretch out. I hate they, like, that. I fucking hate that. Like sometimes, just put it in front of the screen. I've never had that, but I can imagine it. Right, I got a picture in my head. This guy put both hands behind his head and interlinked his fingers over my screen. Wow. I literally couldn't see a single piece of the screen. What did I was you like, do? I just waited. I didn't know what to do. I you didn't. didn't t- I didn't want to like be like poke him in the hand and be like, get your hand off my screen, because he's watching his screen. He knows that there's a, there's a screen there. He can also feel yeah. it, right? With so his I was hands? like, I let it go for like a minute. I paused it. I was just like, I just, I want to shoot myself in the face. About an hour later, he did it again and started like tapping on it like bongos. And he was like rewinding, changing the movie, like flicked it to the radio. I was like, ah, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to die. Wow. Why do I keep getting sat next to pricks? <laughs> You're on a plane. Don't it's be a prick. because you're so far the other way that you notice whenever someone's yeah. a prick. The etiquette what? for that, though, is that when that happens, is you just reach out, grab the seat top in front of you, and just shake it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say reach out and just grab their hands. I, uh, I, just was, on, I was on a flight once, you know, where the seat in front of me was really close, and someone did the same thing. There was no, like, screen in the seat back, but he did the same thing where he reached back and put his hands there, and he did that, and his knuckles were all just oh. cut and gnarly, hey. and just, like, he... <laughs> him, Closing his hands, like reopened the cuts, and he was like an old <laughs> dude, like an old man with cut up Last knuckles, time someone and it just like right in front of my face. It's like all that I can see. I'm like, disgusting. wow, thanks, dude. I'm really glad I'm on this flight right behind There's you. There's a whole blog dedicated to like poor etiquette on planes. I, I think the one that always threw me off was the person who's sitting in the window seat, and someone has stuck their bare foot 
up. Yep. I see that all the time. Really? Pass the, the, pass the seat and like put it like next to their armrest. Sometimes like I'll like put that. it like just on the back of a chair. Nice. Like you know where the back of the armrest is here? Put like your foot down. Yeah. But not barefoot. <laughs> I'll just go like this because I'm so tall that usually my feet don't fit like against the chair like this, especially if someone's leaning back. So I have to put them up somewhere. People also don't get that like the under your seat, that's for the person, that's for you. Like under your own seat, that's not for you. Right. That's not for you. But sometimes you get like bare toes like on the railing stuck out. It's like I hate where, <laughs> sometimes I'll like bring my feet back and then like accidentally kick a person's feet yeah. that are like sticking out. Like they put their makes their toes kick out. I'm like, it harder. Oh. Ugh, like, I'm like, oh, oops, sorry. You know, that was an accident. I wasn't like trying to do a passive aggressive thing. There was a woman sitting in front of Aaron on our flight back from Australia who reclined her seat all the way back, but she was sitting up in it. So she wasn't even using the recline. She was sitting up, but she like could using something. If she wanted to. Yeah. I was... That's her space. That's her prerogative she had to recline. She had freedom to, to lean back and forth as she saw fit. Yeah. Did I ever tell you, I don't think I ever talked about this, but there was one lady who delayed uh, a flight that I had because she, was, she boarded last. Um, she seemed like someone who was late with a connection. So the plane was fully board boarded. We were already waiting like four or five minutes. And then all of a sudden, one lone person gets on, and she comes out. The flight was completely full. They had already started checking people's carry-ons because they ran out of overhead mm -hmm. space. And she just happened to be sitting like across the aisle from me in the same row. Well, she gets down there, and she opens the overhead bin, and it's full. And so she starts telling everybody in the area, whose bag is this? This is in my space. <laughs> this, is the, this is the space for my row. She thought that was designated for them. Yeah, and then but and she was and everyone just kind of ignored her. But then she wouldn't give it up. She goes, "I need to know whose bags these are because you put them in the wrong place. This is my space." And somebody goes, "That's not that's not the way it works." And she goes, "What are you talking about?" She goes, "I have a ticket." And this, <laughs> even the flight attendant came down and was like, "You need to sit down." And she was like, "Adamant, like get your bags out of here." It's like. It was the strangest thing ever. She thought it was like designated space. That's communal like, space. I yeah. feel like everyone should go on a course. It should be like passing a driver's test. You got to go on like a passenger test. It's a weird planes. thing though, because she was so like adamant about it that it, if you don't know, you don't know. Like, yeah. oh, is this the way this works? But she was adamant that. Like, and then no, if someone tells place. you, like, no, that's not the way it works, you, oh, okay, yeah. I didn't know. She but... thought she was being taken advantage of. She was. That's always the thing in America when people, someone thinks they're being taken advantage of. It's like that person will always go. Ballistic. I was in. Uh, <laughs> was a like a, a timer. <laughs> Somebody made toast. And it was a ding that just went off in the background. So there's a place called. Um, we like Shake Shack here. Which by the what, by the way, I went out to lunch today with Chelsea Atkinson. It is her one year anniversary with the company. Oh, is it? Wow. It is also. You know what else it is the one year anniversary of? What started to be a crowdfunding campaign that we did last year. Oh. We did this year at this time. And as I understand, we just went picture lock on Laser Team. We so. did. So she was sending out an update. And all that stuff. Chase, Chelsea's been awesome. She's helped me a ton in the last year, <coughs> and she was great for the crowdfunding campaign. She basically ran everything after the campaign was done, and we were busy making laser teams. She was, she's been tremendous on it. So she, she gets just, shit done. We went down to Ramen Tatsuyu. Tatsuya. 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 Because we went, but the <laughs> one down south, because the one up north is always closed on fucking Monday, and I don't know why. And then the other ramen place closes on Monday, and I'm pretty sure they close because Ramen Tatsuya. Also closes on Monday. But they'd be the only one open then. That'd be great for their business. Like double business. Rolling in that ramen money. Yeah. God, that wet egg in that in those noodles. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. You like wet egg? Yeah. I didn't know that. I wouldn't expect that. But we drove by there. It's soggy. Eggs can be wet. Uh, we drove by Shake Shack. There was no line today. So, just so you know. Well, we went there the other day. There was no line also. Like, we walked in and it was less than a five minute wait. And it was at, like, peak lunchtime, like noon. Yeah. What, what is special about Shake Shack? It's good. I don't know what's special about it. Like, I, 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 like legitimately, I didn't want to buy into the hype, but it's really good. And I, I tasted it. It was really delicious. And I looked at it and I said, what is it about these ingredients right. that makes them special? It's literally just the same as anything else. It's bread, lettuce, cheese, meat. Like, there's nothing crazy it's about really it. It's really juicy. juicy. That's the best way is I could describe it. No. Uh, it's well, it's the like perfect amount of... Sometimes. Yeah, drippy? Peter's is a little drippy. Drips down your arm when you're eating it. But the, what they do is they don't cut the back of the bun. Mm. So it's kind of like an open sandwich this way, Ooh. so that it doesn't drip out the side when you're eating it like this. It's really smart. Catches everything. You get that nice, good last bite. Then you, oh, you That's get the nice greasy end of a burger. Yeah, it's good so stuff. Good. <laughs> greasy end's the best end. The um, <laughs> yeah, it is. But there's a place down south <coughs> by the other Alamo. I know I got a big dent in my laptop there. Um, there's a place down south called Burger Fi, and it's actually a lot like Shake Shack. And it's been around before Shake Shack got to Austin. Kind of like Pete Terry's was here before In and Out mm -hmm. got here, and Pete Terry's is it's a, it's a knockoff of In and Out, right? Yeah. P. Terry's is Austin in and out basically. It is, yeah. yeah. They even have the secret menu and all that mm -hmm. stuff. But so I went to Burger Fi, which you should definitely try. Is that a local place? I don't know. I'll look I think so. They, the weird thing about that place is they brand the name of the restaurant into the bun. 
like they it's like like a heat s- seared yeah heat, kind of thing heat, heat seared into it it's really seal strange. of approval I guess so but there was a lady there and she was not getting her concrete fast enough which is like some kind of like thick shake and she was just railing the dude behind the counter like <sighs> it was embarrassing <laughs> this is that burger ev- fight yeah yeah it was embarrassing for everybody around they're everywhere by the way I mean, well not everywhere but there's there's a lot of locations best onion rings in Austin there it is that's what they do. That's uh, yeah. Patrick pulled up the. Uh, That's cool. It must be from Florida because there's 26 of them in Florida. <laughs> Probably so. Oh wow. Yeah, or people in Florida really like hamburgers. They have the best onion rings in all of Austin. Burger fight. Yep, no joke. I'm always looking for good onion burger. rings. I'm, I've okay. been on an onion ring kick lately. Have you? Yeah, I don't know why. Something I haven't about seen them. you eat onion rings once in the last like six months. You don't know me. Yeah. Oof. What the fuck? We, we should do, combine the best. If somebody gets in the chair, they get I all... think I know everything. Now. <laughs> I think I have Bernie's. You do know everything. You're in the chair. That's the know-it-all chair. What if we combine the best? Fast food into the ultimate fast food meal. <laughs> like the burgers from Just here, like and the fries yeah, burger from here. here, chips from did, here. Did you? Oh, drink from onion there. rings from here. And what are the best like onion the rings? Sauce from there. Burger fight. They're very good. But I what are the best the onion rings that you've tried? Mighty Fine has some pretty good. Mighty Fine does have good onion rings. Yeah, <coughs> I, I'm I'm partial to the Burger King onion ring. You can't even find an onion in it. Oh, it's just I'm, a I ring. don't I don't like that. It's a batter ring. It's like it's someone just, yeah. deep fried a funion. what it is. Did you see? Do you watch? Does anybody watch last week tonight? No. Yeah. Nah. So, did you watch yesterday's episode? I watch it when they post it on YouTube. Okay. So last week he <laughs> said that <laughs> if uh, if the FIFA sponsors pulled out from the World Cup and Sepp Blatter resigned, that he would take a bite out of everything in the McDonald's dollar menu, <laughs> wear these disgustingly gross Adidas shoes, and drink a Budweiser product and say it was really delicious. So Sepp Blatter resigned. So last night's <laughs> episode, he had to take a bite. He had to do all of those things, and he just like. He, you, he, what you said about combining the food reminded me. He just took everything from the dollar menu and basically just stacked it all up and just took a bite out of everything <laughs> at once. I bet that was delicious. probably like 12,000 12, calories just right there in one bite. <laughs> washed it all down. With he, they should have made him do Bud one Light at a time. Yeah, it was, I worse. think he was like short on time at the end. Like He was just trying to get through it all in a hurry. What's the most calories you could get out of one bite? Like What food has the most densely packed calories? I think mealtime has made some stuff that's if ridiculously you, dense in calories. Probably should you just bite into like a stick of butter or fudge or something like that, I would think. Butter fudge. Butter fudge sounds really? awesome, by the way. <laughs> I would like some butter, butter fudge. fudge. Like of one solid ingredient, or could it be multiple ingredients together, just one bite? I think cream. I guess if you can get it all into a mouthful. But you'd probably just use the densest of that. It's got to be like some kind of like protein bar or meal replacement thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, you see my natural food or that? Like there's probably... Uh, remember those things that I got, those emergency rations? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Super dense... Uh, they're super dense, like, I don't know what they are, uh, some kind of, like, sawdust <laughs> that's pressed together with coconut oil. You ever see Snowpiercer? No. Oh, yeah, I have seen Snowpiercer. That's gross. Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're, like, that bar that, that they yellow eat. bar they eat? Oh, it's so gross. That's if there's ever, like, some type of nuclear attack and you have to hide out in your house, right? You eat that. It's any kind of emergency. Like, is, is it real, though, or is it just, like, gimmicky crap, like astronaut ice cream? It probably doesn't. I'll, br- I'll bring them on next time. I'll bring them on. i got to change them out every five Will years. Will you eat one? I've, I've eaten them before. Okay. <laughs> Avoid that question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will, I will eat one. You want me to bring on emergency rations? Yeah. I will not yes. be here next week because I will be in Los Angeles for oh, right. the E3 Expo. E3. We all will be out, I think. We, yeah, we're all yeah. going to be. We're all going to be gone. Hey. So if you ever want to rob the podcast set, now is your chance. <laughs> Brand- we watch it every night. <laughs> I put Brandon in charge of uh, next week's podcast. I'm curious to see how that goes. Oh, you want to apologize in advance for next week's podcast? <laughs> Maybe like the Sorry about X-team. that, everybody. The X Team, Jesus. <laughs> Are you excited about who's excited about E3? Woo! Fallout 4. I'm most excited because I don't have any obligations while I'm there. You just go yeah, for yeah. fun. I, I won the trip. You won? You say yeah. won now like Gus does. No, I've always said won. <laughs> I'm Canadian. Won? I, I noticed she, said, she totally said it just like me. Yeah. <laughs> I, you, I won the trip. Is you that won better? the trip. I won no, the trip. No, you won it. Won it. I won. Won? It's she W-O-N. It when she did you win it? That's how I say it. Barbara, up here. Pound it. Pound it. Ba la 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 la. <laughs> so Barb's gonna be out there. Gus and Gavin are gonna be out there in the uh, YouTube booth for all the stuff we talked about last week. I'm excited to go to E3 because after E3, I'll get a girlfriend back. That's gonna be nice because my girlfriend has been like heads down planning this thing for I think like a month of this. Point. I felt like that with Laser Team. What's that? Laser Team editing going on. Your girlfriend's been oh, busy. My oh. girlfriend's been so busy. <laughs> Your girlfriend's been busy planning <laughs> Laser Team. Yeah, no, it's so it's tough. It's nice when these when you get to the end of like a big long milestone like that. But it's gonna be blast. What are you guys looking forward to besides Fallout Four? Anything? Halo Five. Oh, you playing Halo Five? I mean, I'm just I don't know. <laughs> I'm looking for just Valve looking to announce it. any kind of game, even though they don't have their own press conference. I just want them to announce something. E3 is not really their thing. 
And they just, I guess, did announce the Steam controllers. Mm-hmm. I feel like if it was up to them, they, they're not going to wait for E3 or what anything. What happened with all those Steam it. machines that they were talking about? They're finally coming out. They're finally coming out. October, you can pre-order them right Death now. Daft Punk made a song about it. Steam machine? No. <laughs> no? What is the... <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's the name of a Daft Punk song? It's a, yeah. Mm. Oh. But didn't they also say that there's a thing that just lets you stream from your PC to the TV? Steam, Steam link. link. So who would ever buy a Steam machine if you've got, if you've got a PC? People if who you've don't got have a PC. PC. Yeah. Exactly, if you've got a PC. Not everyone has a PC. They're trying to compete with consoles. Hi, Ashley. Ashley has a comment. No, I'm saying... Steam machine is Linux. So you still yeah, need a Steam Yeah, but there's machine. Linux Steam games. Yeah, but there's 10% of them are Steam I said like 10%. Games. So Steam Machine is... Oh, 10%, 10% percent of Steam games, by the way, is like 18 million games. Just <laughs> so you know. Because that catalog's enormous. I downloaded a game the other day. It was Food Truck Tycoon. It was 99 cents. <laughs> On Steam? Mm-hmm. And then there was another game I think... Did you play you, it for an hour? I know. I haven't played it for an hour. <laughs> it's still it's worth the work. money. You know what I did this weekend? I, I was kind of out of video games for a little while. And I got back in a major way. Uh, because Teddy wanted to play Borderlands. And then I got hooked into Borderlands. I hundred percented Borderlands Two this weekend. <laughs> like I finally, I finally finished. You went back. That was a game Ashley and I played together when we first started dating. That's how we would do for long distance relationship stuff. We would play Borderlands. You guys Two. also played that sheep game, right? I forgot what it's called. Flock. That's Flock. when she first came to. Okay. Awesome. I've done this thing when recently where I've gone back to revisit games that I stopped playing but I really loved, like long games like Skyrim and stuff like that. Yeah. And I find that I've left my games in in the most ridiculous places, like. I, I started playing Pokemon again because I was on a plane. It's Pokemon X. I'm stood right in front of like the legendary Pokemon on the box. <laughs> I just never <laughs> fought it. And like Abe's Odyssey, I was like right in the final room, just never finished you it. You just give up at really. I don't know what it's about me, but I like it's either like I'm unaware I'm about to get to a good bit, or I just put it down and never pick it up again. You're like, I'm gonna it. save this for next time. It's gonna be so much fun. And then like fast forward. Yeah, but or I don't remember just like, doing it. I, I just like nah. I literally walked into the room in Pokemon. I was like. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> it was like this big battle. I was like, this. <laughs> like, where's your where's your wild character? Your troll wizard? Oh, that's a good question. Troll mage. Uh, where is he? Orgrimmar. Right yeah, yeah. You he's walked at, him to Orgrimmar. Yeah, he's at the in by the mailbox in Orgrimmar. How do you remember oh, wow. that? Hasn't that been a seems really like time? what I would do. It seems like. <laughs> if, if, no, I'm serious. If we were to go log in right now, there's a 99 percent chance he's by the mailbox in Orgrimmar. Can right. we do that? Um, <laughs> can we get your laptop? For, like, five My undead warlock. <laughs> I took him all the way back to the starting point and put him back in the grave where he comes out. Oh, really? And ended the game there. I was, dif- I was like, I'm not playing World of Warcraft anymore. Oh. And I didn't play it a tenth as much as you did. I'm going to go grab my laptop. Go do it. I can't <laughs> wow, really? I, I don't, I don't you know say the, the name of the character? No. Okay. I'll have to see if it's even installed. I actually know uh, this character really well. You're just getting really uncomfortable on that couch. I would call him. Anybody, anybody oh, would beat me up <laughs> in, in World of Warcraft, I would call Gus. Yeah? And he'd go, where? Because I was on <laughs> Gus's server, but he was way too high. Like your elder brother. Me. Yeah, I was like, hey, can you come help me? <laughs> he's like, where are you? It's like, I'm in, like, I don't forget, the Barrens, you know, please, Crossroads. And he's like, I'll be right there. Should I pick up that game? Wow. Wow. I've always wanted to try it. Yeah. And I really liked Skyrim and, and those types of games, so I don't know. Man, Skyrim's great. Picking um, up WoW at this point, I, 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 I don't even know what it's like. There's pandas in it now. I stopped playing before there was pandas. Pandas. <laughs> yeah. I know, they even just, re- I would actually go back and play it now because... Um, they did a thing with WoW after I stopped playing where they completely, like, changed the landscape. All the iconic landscapes, they, like, had this thing they called the Cataclysm. Yeah. Where they com- it was, like, about an apocalypse in Azeroth. Is it, So is the world of World of Warcraft is still now post-Cataclysm? Yes. So it's they completely changed it and they're not going back? Correct. Wow, man. That's crazy. C- can't me. they just, in future, well, when the graphics are better, just re-release the original one? Really? Like a remastered WoW. That game is like 11 well, the, years old. They're constantly it looks like updating shit. the graphics. Really? It looks terrible. <laughs> I mean, well, they try to, what they try to make like? it as as accessible as possible. That way the people with the widest range of computers can still play it. I thought Fallout uh, 4 and oh. XCOM 2, neither one of them looked very good. X, the XCOM 2 trailer did not look that great. Uh, and they said the reason they're going PC exclusive was so that they could have higher fidelity models. But it definitely didn't look like it from the trailer. Yeah. And by the way, I'm absolutely going to play both those games the moment they come out. Fallout 4 is a big one for me. I love Fallout 3 so much. I never played any of the Fallout games. So good. I should, though. Kind of very similar to My Skyrim, MacBook Air does not they? meet the minimum requirements. I mean, it's made by the same people. Yeah. Oh, yep. you can't get on? Uh, it doesn't have the... I'm, I'm downloading it, but it'll... We'll see if it gets there. It'll be all laggy, daggy. <laughs> yeah, just I, I don't. It's not a very. It's that's not a gaming laptop. <laughs> so I haven't installed on my laptop at home. I just don't have it installed here. <laughs> Ashley asked me to warn you guys about something, which is uh, all next week, for at least for three days: Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week. 
uh, the Rooster Teeth channel on YouTube, the uh, featured video will be all the E3 live streams because the entire YouTube coverage for E3 is running through the Rooster Teeth channel. So that's where you'll see it uh, all next week. Are we but doing I multiple episodes of the patch next week as well? Tuesday, we're, Wednesday, and Thursday. We will be doing an episode of the patch every three uh, patches. That game must be terrible. Every day, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, one, it's, uh, we're gonna have a lot of guests because we're gonna be in LA and be on the show floor and all that stuff. So it's gonna be a ton of fun next There's week. There's gonna be a lot of cool people on the stream too. Who's cool? Yeah. Me. Can yeah. we announce any of the people, Ash? Yeah, I want to talk about uh, Game Grumps. Game Grumps. Um, Ashley has said we're allowed to say that Screw Attack will be on it. Game Grumps will be on it. Yeah, okay, I think. Uh, Ray Cox, Stallion, is going to be on there. He, he, he messaged me, and we're trying to work that out. And uh, Ray's Cock will also yeah. be there. He has the highest uh, gamer score. Yeah, we saw him at uh, South By last year, right? Yeah, time yeah. full event. Oh, yeah. he was, mm -hmm. yeah, he was <coughs> getting a million. Mega64 will Mega be there. Mega64. Who let those bums in? Of course, Foon House will be there as well. So I watched a video on the... Be joining us on stage. <laughs> of, of Rocco flipping off the... Delta Airlines safety video. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, really? Did he wait for the scene with you? Yeah, he was like this the whole time, and then he goes... When it's on me, and then <laughs> <laughs> it was really funny. It's really great. Did you see uh, Rocco's video of him reviewing the Rooster Teeth podcast pizza from Pizza Hut? No. <laughs> he, also, he also did like the I Justine pizza and everything like yeah. that. Yeah. But he opened it up, and it was just not like it wasn't her pizza. It was a pizza that had like dirt and <laughs> like <laughs> leaves all over it. Poor like, Justine. It's a weird choice, but he ate it, which is the grossest part. That's so gross. I, uh, this the, this gonna sound weird. Not the first time I've seen him eat dirt. Nope, definitely really? not. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> I've seen him eat dirt before really? in other videos. Like, Ugh. like that's he'll do that if he needs to. He'll yeah. commit. <laughs> and if if you need to eat dirt to make something funny, so be it. They dirt were, will get eaten. They were great. My, one of my favorite experiences with those guys when we brought them down for the second episode of Immersion, and they had to yell at a uh, <laughs> they had to yell at a, a trained special forces sniper. And it made him better, right? It made it better, but I mean, it's just like wow, they were just like brutal. Everything they were saying yeah. to that guy, and uh, Derek's the the harshest, I think. Yeah, Derek was pretty harsh. Yeah. yeah. Do you ever on headphones use the feature? If you use iPhone headphones, you can like click the button or double click to skip song. Do you ever do that? I, I never tried, use it. I try that clicking thing for all the different functions. All it ever does is stop whatever I'm doing. That's I, that's that leads me to my next story. I'm having the coincidences happen again. Yeah. Uh -oh. So I was listening to a song. The song came on. It was on shuffle. Didn't like it. It was annoying me. I Can thought, I steal your power? Yeah. I thought, uh, nice. I'll skip the song. So I double tapped the thing. And I heard this, like the beginning of a song. Do you know Pastime Paradise by mm -hmm. Stevie Wonder? It's like the Gangster's Paradise original. Yeah. It basically starts with like, it starts with like a clicking. It sounds like a cowbell, but someone's holding it. Like it's not very echoey. And uh, I was like, oh yeah, I like this song. Realized that I actually didn't skip to that song. I paused it. Like I only pressed it once instead of twice. And it was just the escalator that I was on was clicking. To the exact same rhythm that song oh, I was like weird. I was like Whoa. damn so then I pressed play and it went on to the original of the first song I was listening to which meant I just paused it so then I skipped to the next song it was Pastime Paradise get the hell out of here on and shuffle? I was on an escalator in front of a lot of people I was just like what what what, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah just on shuffle wow so my brain predicted the next song out of probably like 5,000 songs I've got on my that's phone that's crazy by the way that happens to me all the time though when I have my music on shuffle I'll just I be like, never, I really want to hear I this song. I never ever want to do that. You guys, are, you guys do that because I feel like I guess now I'm odd man out. <coughs> I, the, the idea that I would shuffle every single song that's on my phone, I never would want to do that. I don't have very many. Yeah, five thousand songs. Just a lot of shit songs in there. But then you never hear. know yeah. what's coming next. It's I do fun. have a lot of '80s songs. Probably like a thousand songs. From yeah, the but 80s. you're gonna get ABBA, and then you're gonna get like Patsy Cline right <laughs> after it. You know what I mean? It's just like, and it's always like the seventh track on the album too. Yeah. You never. Well, I, that's what I hate about it. It's yeah. like my phone well, like defaults any, to that mode. I don't have any albums. I don't think it's just singles. Like I don't have more than like four songs by one artist. Oh, I see. Okay, so it's all you cherry picked all the songs. It's all the hits. Like. I still end up skipping so many songs. So when I have it on shuffle, I'd say the most songs I have by one artist is probably Michael Jackson or Hall and Oates. What's your favorite Michael Jackson song? Hall and Oates. Thriller. I don't uh, know. Oh, really? I, don't know. I love "Want You Back." I love that song. Oh, I like the Free Willy one. The Jackson <laughs> Free Willy one. I have, a lot of, I have a lot of Beatles. I don't like the Beatles. You know, I got so... It, I, I was so disappointed forever that the Beatles were not on digital at all. And then when they eventually came to digital, to iTunes, it was this big deal. I was like, I'm not getting that. Yeah. Well, I already owned most of the CDs. Like, I'd already done. bought the CDs, and I'd already ripped them into my library. Yeah. So it wasn't <coughs> a wasn't big deal. Wasn't anything special? I just uh, think I've listened to the Beatles too many times. 
Uh, you, but every now and then you can go back and like re-listen to it. Like on the on my flight back the other day, I listened to Revolver, and I probably hadn't listened to Revolver in two years. Yeah. And I looked at it and I was like, what's crazy to me was I was I looked at the year it came out. Revolver came out 49 years ago. Next year will be the 50th anniversary of that album coming That's out. That's crazy. Which is fucking insane to me. Wow. Yeah, and two of those dudes are still alive. And I thought about also like the first time I bought that album. And I was like, when I bought this album for the first time, it was only like 25, 30 years old, and what? now it's almost 50. What's the thing you think you've bought the most times? World like of Warcraft? A, a video game, <laughs> a video game or a song or a movie that you've bought in the most amount of different formats. Friends. Friends? Mm. Yeah. But where else have you bought it? I bought it on VHS, then Ooh. DVD, and then Blu-ray. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. You know it's on Netflix for free, right? And now it's on Netflix. Oh, not for free, but... Well, I bought Halo, I Halo PC, and then the Master Chief Collection. That's three times I bought that. Matt's... Matt, when we were in college, I think Matt yeah. bought... Also Halo Anniversary, don't forget. Uh, and Halo Anniversary. That's a Master Chief Collection. Though. No, I guess that, Halo yeah. Anniversary came out before Master Four Chief Four times collection. I bought the original Halo game. But uh, Matt bought uh, Army of Darkness, like... I think like 10 times. Because they put out like 10 different versions <coughs> of that. And every time they put out a new one, he would buy it. Like there was one that came with a leather brown Necronomicon. Oh, right. I, can't that think of, that. I can't think of anything I have more than one copy of. Yeah, you just never bought something again. There's something in your life that you've bought more than once. It's possible. I Oh, I can think of it. I have a couple like Disney movies at home mm -hmm. on VHS that I bought on iTunes. That now I ha So I have it on my Apple TV. Mm. That's it. That's all I can think about. That's right. I just said Matt and Matt just contacted me. Uh, you guys are going to die. Here, let me read this. Let's, let's let him read it. I'm going to read it from here, which is kind of weird. Have, have you ever said, let me read this, and we said, no, you yes. can't read it? Yep. Can't you just, you just start it. reading it? I want to remind everyone, this episode of the podcast is brought to you by Dollar Shave Club. Nope. <laughs> is there anyone <laughs> listening who still hasn't joined Dollar Shave Club? What's the deal? <laughs> These guys are the best. Their races are amazing. It's more convenient. It costs a fraction of the price. We'll break down exactly how the club works. You go to dollarshaveclub.com, pick one of their three great razors, the two-blade Humble Twin, the four-blade 4X, the six blade executive, which is the one I use. You get your first box in about a week. Includes a free handle and a sleeve of blade cartridges. It's high quality stuff. Looks and feels like the expensive ones that I've used before. Uh, the executive has six stainless steel blades. Get the hell away from me. Uh, a 90 degree pivot head and an aloe strip. Feels better than this. Uh, I've never gotten a shave like that before. Uh, after that, they mail you four replacement blades every month or every other month if that's better for you. You never have to worry about it again. Uh, stop doing it the old fashioned way. You're missing out. Try dollarshaveclub.com slash roosterteeth. That's dollarshaveclub.com slash roosterteeth. Uh, the club makes a great Father's Day gift. It's the gift that keeps on shaving. So dollarshaveclub.com <laughs> slash roosterteeth. Hey, Did that hurt your knees like as much as it hurt mine? I, I want to tell you something. <laughs> Sorry. Orgrimmar? That's where the mailbox used to be. Oh, it might be about to pop in. Oh, yeah. It was He's exactly right what you said. He's in the right place. <laughs> you proved your point. <laughs> because if you went back take a screenshot. and like, in keeping with like Dollar Shave Club, if you went back... And your character had a big long beard because she hadn't logged in in a while. <laughs> yeah, that happens in a. Uh, uh, what is it? What's the. Uh, don't starve. Your character, the main character, uh. grows a beard over time. I mean, you guys are supposed to shave it off. Are you guys okay? Uh, Gavin did like a little duck walk he across the coffee table. He fell onto me with his bones. <laughs> <laughs> with his bones? <laughs> Jesus. I don't know, a little I don't otter know if he fell on you with no bones. I don't know if it was your head or your knees that just like <laughs> My fell. knee hurts more than my head, so I think it was my knee. <laughs> I, was, I was convinced that that table was going to fall on my foot. Like I was trying to shuffle my foot out of the way, my broken foot out of the way so you wouldn't fucking double break it. Oh, you know, so when a, when, a, when a regular person, a young person breaks their foot, it's like six weeks. How long for like an old person like you? Well, it was <laughs> only, it was only, like permanent? It, it was only a small fracture. I walked on it while it was fractured for three weeks, then I have to wear this for three weeks. So, so did that, oh, that's nothing. Did that make it worse, walking on it? Um, no, they just said it hurts. <laughs> they, uh, like, it just makes it hurt. It probably just stopped the healing. Hurting sounds mm -hmm. worse to Like, me. you probably would have healed faster if you got this right away. Well, thanks, doctor. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Because if you would treat your injury, you would get better <laughs> faster, as opposed to ignoring it. It was one of those things where I was like, I, I don't know. I didn't feel like anything they did could help it. No? No point, no. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just stomp on it a couple times and yeah. say, see, well, now this is how bad it could be. I can kick shit. Now I always know when Gus is coming, though, so I could like, hide all Clump. corn out and watching in the Clump. office. Yeah, I feel like I can be. Dust boot is coming. I know, when I walked by Bernie's office today, he came out. He's like, Gus, Gus. <laughs> like, I did. I did. I was hunting him down because we needed. What? I, oh, we were talking Talk about, about yeah. Let's play stuff. Mm -hmm. When Barbara just said, "I know when Gus is coming," I got stuck in that mode because we just did a let's play. We're now doing let's plays every day before the podcast. Every, every Monday. Yeah. Every day we do the podcast. We do With a podcast. let's play before it. So, and today's was fun. I mean, so 
after a day of doing let's plays in the time where I usually relax before the podcast, I do <laughs> a let's, let's play. Yeah. <laughs> I, w- we, I was totally ready to not have you come and do Why? today's. I said I wanted I, to do it. I know you did, but I'm I, not just complaining, wasn't, really. I was just aware that you were. I can see where you hit your head. Yeah, you can see your red. Do you have a red mark? Oh, yeah. Do I? Yeah. 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 It's right there. See? It's oh, see, yeah. that went into my kneecap. That your, that's a, like a battle scar. Oh, <laughs> rug burn on your forehead. <laughs> Gene burn. <laughs> You, but it's uh, it's different coming in, uh, yeah, and uh, and doing let's play with us. So we've High talked we've it. talked about these let's plays a couple different times. We're actually just building up a small little library so we can stay ahead for when we go to town and stuff like that. The first one we're gonna put out next Monday. Yes. And then are we cool on the time? Can we can we TBD? Time? Oh fuck the TBD! It's gonna be Monday morning. Uh, we're gonna put it. <laughs> I, I I gave ample time. What for channel to check is it, it gonna out. be on? Uh, it will be let's play because it's gameplay. So. Okay. We're going to put it out early enough in the morning to where people can see it when they wake up. It's summertime anyway. And also before anybody who wants to watch the GTA Let's Play, uh, long before they're awake, hopefully. Because they will freak the fuck out if they think that the GTA Let's Play has been replaced. But <laughs> it's YouTube and there's absolutely nothing you can do. I really had fun <laughs> with the game we played today. The was, game we played today was, was really great. fun. Yeah. Should we start with the one we recorded last week? Or should we start with the one I recorded first, which uh, was the couples one? Do that one. Yeah, start from the beginning. The couples one? Yeah. Okay. We'll, so. get, we'll get through them eventually. Good, play, plus, I don't want to ever... Gavin thinks he's played Contagion like six times and we only put out one Let's Play for it. Two. What? Two. We also played yeah. Left 4 Dead like six times. There was a good one with Blaine that we played, a good one with Michael. No, where, where are they? The, the Blaine one came out. Yeah, it came out. There was another zombie game yeah. we played. Oh, no, wait. We did a whole month of, of Let's Plays a year ago and people have been asking about them since then. What was that one we did where it was two Left versus two games. without any zombies? Two versus two. It was... Like you and me versus Bernie and oh, that was uh, uh, that was Last of Us. Last of Us, okay. We put those out. Right, I that was fucking fun. Chris. Barbara fucking destroyed Chris Maris. That was a blast. <laughs> that game it's was all about fun, that two man. by four. I, I'm re- I really regret that that Last of Us kind of has fallen off in the office because that was a game that people played a lot. We yeah. played a game. That was crazy. Uh, I think oh, that's the thing I'm excited for E3. It's Uncharted Four. Dude, I'll tell you what I'm really excited for. Everything's four. I'm excited by things that haven't been announced yet. Excited you know what I'm really it. hoping for? More than anything else, if you could have like I know Fallout Four was big on people's wish list. What's one title you would love to see? Obviously, you can't predict new titles. So, what was something you'd like to see a sequel for? Custer's or, Revenge. Re- 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 wow, busted out that <laughs> title. One of the first ever adult-only title on Atari Twenty Six Hundred. What would you like to see? A second one? Yeah, or just you know, new titles. Just another Skyrim or something. Another That's... Elder Scrolls. Oh, yeah. Skyrim Two. Elder Scrolls. 6. I would take a Skyrim Two. Screw it. <laughs> No, I gotta call it Skyrim. I wouldn't go back to Skyrim. I, it's got. I gotta see something besides snow in the next one. It's too yeah. much snow. I want to go back to like Oblivion style, where it's like. You know what pissed me off the most about orange. Skyrim? What? I fucking joined up with those racist motherfuckers and didn't realize it until later. <laughs> it's like you can't go back and change that. I was like, motherfucker! You're the guy with the swastika tattooed to your forehead, and you're like, I think I'm in the wrong. <laughs> place. <laughs> the fucker. What was his name? The How did I get here? The guy who you're in the cart with at the very beginning. The Dark Brotherhood. No, no, no. The what? Stormcloaks. Storm Ulrich Stormcloak. And they fucking look, racist Ulrich. motherfuckers. Why are they racist? Hit the elves? They prefer the Nords. Oh, I the see. The Nords are the superior. Fuck them. Whoosh. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was so mad. <laughs> Didn't you so play mad. Skyrim? Yeah, I did. I don't remember. I don't remember any of that stuff either. But I remember every, having to fight a big dragon. Yeah, all the, the details end. that Gus remembers. I'm just like. That bothered me the whole fucking game. Like, I'm I was racist. The I'm, I'm help, fucking helping the racist guy. Let me throw this out to you. <laughs> let me throw, let me throw this out to you. A title that you didn't even know that you wanted the sequel to. You're not even thinking about it. It's on your radar, but you absolutely want this sequel. Bring it. Oh, oof. um, I don't know. That's hard. If I'm not looking forward to it, I'm not expecting it. Next generation Red Dead. No, nah. fuck that game. What? You guys nah. are fuck lunatics. Nah, you're wrong. There. Oh, you're, you're told, absolutely you wrong. You love that game. You what, didn't what, like Red you, Dead Redemption? What, what you just said there was just... Yeah. No, I think it was more like... <laughs> <laughs> you're getting spit all over my microphone. Oh, stop it. It was way worse. <laughs> no, Red Dead was too much horsey. Yeah, way too much horsey. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something right now. Witcher 3, I'm, I'm going to allow you guys horsey. to stop talking so you don't embarrass yourselves. About oh, okay. Or you can apologize. Either, either one. Oh, you're going to be very upset with you. There are people... That are on the internet and they have keyboards and they type mean things and they're gonna be very upset with you. <laughs> Witcher three has a lot of horse. <laughs> oh, <but> Witcher three is <laughs> really good. Oh, I haven't played Witcher three yet. Witcher three is so good. Maybe I wouldn't. I don't think I've so got to the good bit yet. Oh Are really? No. It takes a while. You guys like? Yeah. Are you still like in the in the starting area? Yeah. Robert, you like? Yeah, you I like, like sex. Thanks. On a uni- on a stuffed horse people or a unicorn. Keep, people keep tweeting pictures. I think it's from Witcher three of a girl that looks like me, a character that looks like me. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, I get at least like two or three tweets a day from that. 
They're like, I found I want... you in this game. I'm like, she's blonde. You got me. <laughs> yeah. You're actually blonde with long hair. You retweeted it once. One time, because the first time I saw it, I was like, oh, yeah, that does. But now it's just like, okay. Now you can't get away from it? Yeah. I want to take by my answer. I want Portal 3. Oh, that's a good one. I want Half-Life 3. How about that? I want Left 4 Dead 3. At this point, I'm not fussed about Half-Life. It's, like, it's finally run out. Just like, meh. I can't even remember what happened at the end of episode two. There's the the ship, right? No, the 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 person, the big, uh, the big flying slug, gets him. like went into the peg leg's head. Yeah, gave him a little uh, little jabby. <laughs> oh right, right. <laughs> gave him the high hard one, <laughs> like right in there. And the other the lady was like, "Oh no." That was, by the way, about twelve years ago at this point. Nah, it was two thousand seven. Yeah, twelve years ago. Half Life Two. This is how old it was. <laughs> Half Life Two. When Half Life Two came out, we got. Steam codes for it when we bought new video cards to make RVB2 and RVB3. The first red versus blue computers in O when we were still in the spare mm -hmm. bedroom in 04. Episode uh, 1 came out. I fucking well. 11 years ago, dude. Okay. So I bought Half Life 2 when Half Life 2 came out. And, it, and you had to install Steam in order to play it, right? Mm -hmm. So why the fuck on Steam do I have a five years experience badge and not 10 years? Oh, I've got. Really? Yeah. My I'll, my I'll, Steam account. If you look, you can look at your account creation date. You should look that up. I'm gonna go look. I at can my look account. at my account creation date. My account was created the day Steam launched. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. You see, you're pretty early to Xbox Live and Steam. Yeah. And my Xbox Live account predates Xbox Live because I was in the beta. Granted, not as long as yours. Granted, I would have been pretty hardcore at that point. Uh, I would have been pretty hardcore Xbox, hey. I guess, at that point. But still. Your phone. I don't know how I, I... I wouldn't waited five years to sign up with Steam. That doesn't make any sense. I do remember Steam no, being a really annoying thing to have to install. It was irritating, Steam. People like, hated people Steam hated. at first. It would, like, launch people when you it. start your computer. It's like, oh, oh that was the worst. I, I think I said on the drunk <clears throat> tank at one point, I said, um, oh. like, way back, way, way, way back in the day, the written drunk tank, I said, the most important thing in that box is Steam. That you have to install. Oh, people yeah. are very excited about Half-Life 2. The most important thing in that in that box is Steam. It took them a while. It took a while for people to really embrace it. How do I see my account creation? It's on your, uh, your profile. Profile? Can oh, you see mine? Oh, yeah, I think you're... Riveting. Yeah. See? Five years of experience. <laughs> Remember since December 12, 2009. Oh. oh, 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 oh. You, got Jeff. you got fucked. You did what Jeff did. You probably started a new account. I, I don't think so. That, Jeff that lost account his... name is old as shit. What was it? Busby? No, Bernie, Bernie TX. Well, your original one would have been Busby. Uh-uh. Yeah. Nah. Nah. Yeah. 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 Fight him. Why, why is it every time you launch Steam, it updates? <laughs> it wasn't why good. is it every fucking time I open Steam? Because new games are coming it's out. It's another 80 megabytes. I got to fucking download and install. You don't find that Just way. launch the fucking application. <laughs> don't shake your laptop. He's going to think you it's mean... It's all the You can baby. shake it all you want. I mean, you, what the fuck? No, I mean, it's, it's almost as bad as fucking Flash. You know, you know what it's almost as bad as now? Fucking Java updates more than anything else. I didn't use Java for anything. Damn for Minecraft. It. Well, the worst thing about Flash is that if it's out of date, it just won't, you can't use Flash. Yeah. I tried to do annotations on a video I uploaded today. I had to install Flash to do it. It's always funny because I, I just built a new computer, and it's, it reminds me of the stuff that doesn't get installed when you make a new computer. <laughs> like, the other day, I was like, I, I got a... Uh, like Microsoft Word. Yeah, or, or, or QuickTime. Like, I can't, yeah. you can't natively play an MOV file on a PC. Yeah. And I clicked on it, it goes, don't recognize this file type. I go, it's a QuickTime file. What are you stupid? And it's like, oh, that's right. I have to install QuickTime. <laughs> on a PC? Yeah, yeah on a PC. Because I had and to. It's QuickTime uh, 7 still. How, how old is that? It's pretty old. Oh, it's cool. Like, Steam finally launched. Thanks, Steam. I'm so I, glad I, you can fucking take it easy, run. Though, oh, while easy. we're uh, bitching about stuff. Yeah. You, you, I've podcast. mentioned previously my issues with the Master Chief Collection and how uh, it breaks all the time. I see I you play it, it all the time. I do, because I want to get all the achievements in it. Are you going to do that? I knew you were going to do that. I have over 400. What are you doing? What? Look at that signed update. September 12, 2003. Now, see, all i got to say about that date and my date is fucking, fucking bullshit. <laughs> That's all I have to say. That's absolute bullshit. <laughs> so, okay, so as a, I guess it's right, an totally. apology for the Master Chief Collection messing up a lot. They gave everyone who played it ODST uh -huh. for free. 1080p, 60 frames a second. It doesn't work. Oh, really? It doesn't stupid work. I can't play co-op with Dan. He, he oh, was, no. we, we, we jumped in. He got stuck in the tutorial. Like this, I guess there's a tutorial in the helmet when you go into visor and like runs you through all the map and stuff. No matter what we did, no matter what level we started on, he had to do the tutorial and couldn't get out of it. So he couldn't <laughs> jump because pressing A puts you in the tutorial yeah. and he couldn't use the map. So he had to... Play the game with me without jumping or using the map. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to look up right now what my first game ever purchased on Steam is. 
I can't figure out how jump. to do that. That's hard. When it's a hard game to play without jump. Steam? Well, now, don't forget, you probably bought games retail and activated them on Steam. Right. So I mean, I mean, the, the Half Life Two because we talked about getting Half Life Two. But you didn't buy that digital. Oh man, the first actual digital purchase. Oh, I don't that know. For me, where would that be? Um, you know what? Am I yeah. Oh, yeah, that man. makes sense. What were the games that were out back then? It was like there were some weird ones, like Ricochet. Trail. Oh, Ricochet? I remember yeah. that. That was a Half-Life mod that turned... Oh, no, you're talking about the opera. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's no. Ricochet? It was, it was like another like disc-based thing where you like fucking threw shit at each other. I don't know. It's been like 12 years. <laughs> I've drank a lot in those past <laughs> five. <laughs> Stuff gets lost to time. It happens. Right, Can you sort check. your Steam library by like the first purchase? I'm going to say check first game bought on Steam. There's a game that you should check out, Gus. Um... On Steam, which is, uh, I like being as close to you, sitting near you. I feel like it's more conversational. Do, do, do you have like a, you feel a spark? I do. I feel a spark <laughs> with the fucking phone. Everyone, I hate my phone. Um, I thought about you because I downloaded a game called Rebuild, which is a, like a civilization, post-apocalyptic civilization game. Go on. It's like turn-based strategy, like four X, like turn-based, and you're like trying to rebuild after a zombie apocalypse. Mm -hmm. I gotta say. Every time I think we reached like maximum zombie fatigue, somebody does something really cool with zombies, and it's just like <laughs> there's like what's the newest cool thing about zombies? Well, I'd like to say, but it would be kind of spoilerish for a thing that we all enjoy. There was a really cool zombie thing in it. <laughs> you cannot forget this. You it was like two weeks ago. That. A major show that we all watch had an undead in it all over the place. You yeah. know what I'm talking about? Oh, oh yeah, I see what you're doing. Okay, yeah. I see what you're doing. Took me a second. The really cool scene. What? Like the really cool scene, right? By Speaking the end of that of a show, lot of them. Yeah. don't watch yesterday's one. Why? Because that was not a nice episode. No. It was not? If you're sensitive. I, I, I don't know how Jeff watched that episode. If you have a kid. <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going home to watch it tonight, and if, so hopefully yeah. nobody... Already people have been spoiling it. Like, if you have a young girl. Well, that's, that's a spoiler. Come on. That's what a spoiler. The? How would that? How? What is that spoiling? The, the, the fact that a young girl gets in trouble in the, in the, in the Maybe? fucking thing. If a young girl appears on screen, I go, here we go. Barbara said, watch out for the fucking Not young girl. Necessary. There's a lot of young girls in that show. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> all I'm gonna There's say. one less, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Not necessarily. Oh, really? Okay. How would one check and purchase activation dates of games on Steam? Let's I'm sorry I specified that it was a girl rather we're than not, This is now the podcast. Kid. We're just going to sit here and spoil popular TV shows, and we're going to read web pages on how to get the stuff done. Okay. You can bleep it. I recently can wanted... you believe what happened to Walter White? <laughs> I actually just finished watching Breaking Bad all over again. How was it? Even better the second time. You know what's I'm, good about I'm really that? To go back and see it again. Here's what they did right for Breaking Bad. They ended the show. Yeah, no, it. I think it was the perfect length. They also knew they were going to end the show about a season and a half before they did it. And they told everybody that. Like, next season, the show's ending. We all knew that halfway <coughs> through season four, or maybe beginning of season four. You knew it was going to come to a close in five seasons. And I think that's a problem we're running into with like Game of Thrones, even though it's based on novels, is now we're in this middle ground of just like, we don't really know at this point how well, long that show's no, going to run. No, the, the showrunners have very clearly said that that show's going to go seven seasons. The, the, really? I've heard six and I've heard so seven. The showrunners have said they're going to go seven. HBO executives want them to go ten. So right go now... Go ten. That's the, 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 the struggle going on. What There's like no characters left. They're going to go seven. Make new ones. Kill Spoiler. Em. Make Jeez. new ones and kill them. <laughs> so I hope they only go seven. I hope that's it. I mean, I love the show, but you know, if that's what the showrunners want to do, I, I hope they stick to their guns and they don't stretch another two seasons of content out over five. Here's, yeah, here's what I would do. I would say, okay, look, we're going to end this thing at seven, write a story that ends at seven, and then if we all like it enough, make a, a continuing adventures of whoever. So-and-so, right. So-and-so, whoever <laughs> lives. The one person who lives. Better call Daenerys. <laughs> make a pre make a prequel. <laughs> That's good. You know, somebody, somebody was talking about the show, and they were talking about the show, like, they said, like, it's weird that some people consume <laughs> this show in this way, and they describe the exact way that I think about the show. They said they described they, they described it as, like, some people are watching the show just to see like the progression of things and who's going to end up on the Iron Throne at the end of the show. And I'm like, well, that's exactly why I'm watching it. I want to see who's going to win. That's the name of the fucking show. Right. Game of it's Thrones. It's a game, yeah. Yeah. You either win or you die. I think the whole thing is like an NCAA bracket of just like, yeah. oh, this guy's gone. Nope. Okay, that bracket yeah, that part of the bracket. bracket. Like, the yeah. playoffs. So. Yeah. An upset. <laughs> yeah. And it's just like it's like when somebody dies, it's like, well, shit, my whole bracket there is fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> you know? It's like after season one, like with the, <laughs> you're like, well, shit, he was a favorite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That that's was an a, upset. Yeah, that's the Cinderella team right there. <laughs> What's another HBO Sir show Ellen, whatever his name was. that I should start watching? Uh, oh, you Ellen. finished The Jinx, right? I finished The Jinx. The Jinx is so good. True Detective. True Detective? Have you not seen True Detective? Okay. True Detective from season two premieres in two weeks. 
I haven't seen True Detective 2, so why don't we all start watching True Detective? Because Ash and I want to start it. Let's do it. So we'll start watching at the same time. And we can have someone to talk to about it. Yes. That's so good. Let me know. I I haven't seen it either. You haven't seen it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's start uh, this week. Let's start right now. Fuck it. Let's just end this. Yeah. I'm in a right predicament now where, because of my recent international flights, I've watched all the damn movies. Uh, Yeah. And I have to. uh, And now I'm flying. I'm going to take four more Atlantic flights in the next month. You're fucked. Where are you going? France and Italy. I don't know what... I, the only thing I haven't watched on the screens is, like, 17 episodes of Two and a Half Men. And I don't... <laughs> I, that show is toilet. Like, have yeah. you ever seen that show? It's terrible. I, I was, I've run out of movies so much to the point that on my last flight, I watched Titanic. That's a good Had you ever seen it before? No, I've seen it before. I'm kidding. I'm who, totally who, is the, uh, who is it that said that we told me how to do that? Sillin Zero. S-Y-L-A-N and the number zero. He told us how to do the Steam games. Thank you very much. I kind of actually lost that already. The upside to watching Titanic is that it's... Like a three and a half hour movie, yeah, so no, a lot of the time. flight disappears when you watch it. Do you know that they don't hit the iceberg until like n- spoiler? They don't, <laughs> they don't hit the what? iceberg until like ninety minutes into the movie. Oh no! Like, it's most like... movies are ending and then they hit the iceberg. Well, ninety you know, minutes is only halfway through the movie. To me, the yeah. amazing thing. It's a three hour movie. Yeah, oh. I'm, I know. Oh, okay. That's that's long. Like most movies are ninety minutes. I guess like, so. Comedies, yeah, it's like guess. you've watched a whole movie and then it's like, oh, here's another movie. Wow! <laughs> wow! I am sorry. We're gonna go back there for a second. Yeah. Because my first uh, game I ever bought on Steam, by the way, Gary's Mod. Is it really? Yeah. Dude, you're, you're never going to guess what the first game I ever bought on Steam was. Oh, let me guess. Oh, shit. You're never going to guess. Mavis Beacon teaches typing. Good one. Good guess. Uh, Good shot. Hemi Newman. Hemi Newman? Gra- nope, it was not Hemi Newman. Grand Theft Auto. Fallout 3. <laughs> really? I did not really? buy a game on Steam until 2009. <laughs> yeah. I had, I had a fucking time, Steam though. account for six years. So uh, let's what see, I don't even Fallout 3 wasn't even new when I bought it. I was let, like, oh yeah, I'll buy it. Let me ask you this then. So what was your first date of the first thing you bought on Steam? What date? January 13th, 2009. You beat me by six months. Okay. <laughs> so, But you have a fucking 11 year badge on Wait. yours. Because you installed it with Half-Life 2 because you're a fucking So you sellout. played that on the PC? Yeah. You didn't play on Xbox? No, I played it on the Xbox 360. I think I, play, I bought it on the PC to see like what the mod support was like. Because I think we were thinking about filming something in Fallout 3 at the time. Uh, okay. So I bought it and then just started going through uh, trying to figure it out. Those games get pretty rough when you have a lot of saves. They really grind to a halt. Yeah. Game. It took me a long time to figure that out. But once I did... Yeah. I can't really see all my transactions here. Did you, honestly. Play, did you play New, New yeah, Vegas as well? I see that. Yeah, I played New Vegas. Yeah. Wasn't as good as Fallout 3? Uh, yeah. I liked Fallout 3 a lot more than uh, New Vegas. New Vegas was fine. But, New Vegas I mean, was after 3, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh. I take it back. The first thing I ever bought on Steam was the uh, Valve Complete Pack. Take it back. 2009. All right. Wait. Ba la 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 la. So December 12th, December 17th. You've watched all the movies. What's that? Is that just yeah. all the movies that they have available on the demand? Yeah. Like all new releases and all just classics. Just everything? Yeah. You can't just load up a laptop with movies you haven't seen yet? I might. I might get an iPod <laughs> that has more than 16 I years. buy a lot of gifts from motherfuckers. You're, you're a kind person. I bought, like, I bought Gary's mom as a gift. I must have bought that for <laughs> Look at JD. image on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Oh, it took me a while to figure out what we're looking at. Into my face. <laughs> Gavin, that's like the, uh, the anime version of Gavin wondering what I'm doing. <laughs> There's a smile on my face. Oh, with the microphone. Is there another frame? <laughs> no, that's <laughs> it. That's it. That's all you get. You know, you, the setup is all you get. That's, you look good in that. That's a good drawing of you. Ooh, little Gabby? It's flattering, yeah. Barbara's a very Thanks complimentary person. April yeah. Do you find that Barbara compliments you a lot? April, I'm yeah. Sure Barbara compliments me a lot. It's a very good quality in the I'm person. Just, I'm being honest. People are happy to Would see you. Would you say I compliment you a lot? Uh, probably a normal amount. Okay. Yeah. What's the normal one? Do you get complimented on, like, a lot on a regular Well, for basis? Barbara, it's like seven times a day for most people, <laughs> no. I guess. No, you came in under par yesterday. Yeah, it's true. No, yeah, no, Gavin's very complimentary. A Barb kicked ass in the game we played today. Didn't kick a lot of ass in the game we played last week. Which let's, I, not, let's not talk about that. <laughs> we'll talk about it more once it comes out. All right. <laughs> we'll have yeah. to justify it then. Well, I, we're going to put it out Monday. Something's coming out Monday. There's going to be a lot of people who are very upset with it. I'm not allowed to pick the game anymore because it's like I default to zombies. I'll pick the game now. Look yeah. at me. Look at you me. You nailed we the should game each, today. That we should fun. rotate the game pick. That's a good idea. I picked today's game and I you came guys up with all loved idea. it. So, so you're you next. Game. <laughs> What's the next game you want to pick? I'm not here next week. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> None of us are here. Well, luckily we have a couple in the bank. Yeah, we do. And a couple of them are a few parts and stuff like that too. Yeah. So. Oh, really? I would assume so. Huh. The, the the one we did for the couples one, I think we did like we could get two, we we easily have two out of that because I stopped it partway through the run. Hmm. It was like a raid style thing. 
where it's got a definitive beginning and an end, mm. and uh, we got halfway through it. I'm really excited for the possible edit that you're going to do on the podcast we did today. That one might be tough, because I might have to edit out fucking Gavin. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll leave it in. I think you can leave it, leave in. it we, in. We make fun of it fine. enough that I'll take the it's hit. clearly not. Okay. You'll take the hit. Thanks for taking one for the team. Gavin named one of Bernie's characters in the game we played today. <laughs> yeah, he named, my, he, he named my character Child Fucker, which was a really inappropriate, I <laughs> and thought. Many- so now, now we have a test. If people want to sue us over that, me saying that right there, then we know. It was we'll, funny because we'll it's a plan. <laughs> <laughs> it was like we were up against Hitler and Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Not Patilla, but we called him Patilla for some reason. Well, it was a big, round, bulbous thing named Jack. So and it was orange. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we, we, just, we just fell into place. You, you know, think you Jack know, gets the most shit of anyone in the office? Uh, let me think. Let me think. Uh, you get a lot of shit. You do, Gavin. You get a lot of shit. I it's feel just like different. I can take it though. Like when whenever we're mean to Jack, I feel like it's wearing him down slowly. Yeah, For me, it just bounces off, or I'm confused and I don't understand it. That's true. I who, think he probably question, takes it the hardest. Who doesn't get enough shit in the office? Like who gets a pass too much? Gus. What? I get I shit all the time. I don't know. Do you? Yeah. About what? Being ugly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna hide behind the mic. <laughs> yeah. If you could pay. <laughs> Fifty thousand dollars. Are you ruining a million dollar spot premise? To change your face. Okay. To any other person's face that you've That's seen just called before. Plastic surgery, by the way. That's no, a real but, like, thing. like just take someone's face and put it on yours. Yeah. Now would that work? Because the bones would be weird. Like if you put Brad's pit. No, I think you're saying with fifty thousand dollars you can buy the technology. Like, yeah. No, I would absolutely not do that. You keep that. I love my face. All right. Yeah. Would you I change? wouldn't change my face either. I mean, I'm just like I don't I don't know what my face looks like after I, a while. I'd probably get a better nose. No. I wouldn't change anything about your face. That's part of your look. That, that wouldn't be hard. God, it's so smashed up. <laughs> you probably smash it more. I think you turn your head, me. your nose is facing the camera. <laughs> 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 you turn your head to the right, and it, somehow your nose still faces. We're used to being head on with the cameras. You so know, every time you turn. Uh, so I took a couple of trips recently, not international, like Mr. Jet said over there. Right about it. But you know what I've realized uh, <laughs> in watching people work. on the plane? Yeah, people are assholes. People like watching Kingsman. On the plane, dude. Yeah. I have also every <laughs> flight. There's like multiple people. I can see their screens. Like, well, that's you're a new all movie. All watching Kingsman. That's a new movie. Yeah, but Apparently, it's like it's yeah. weird. Even like, there's a lot of new movies. And even when I've flown in the past, when there's other new movies, I've never seen that many well, people it's watching like a, it's one like a fucking movie. Comedy action type movie, right? That's uh, like the perfect movie for a plane. The version Ryan watched on the Berlin flight. Had that big fight scene, that big continuous long shot fight scene. Yeah, the one in the oh, church. Cut the whole thing. <laughs> like, no, just, that's not true. Yeah, that is why I would go see that movie again yeah. just to watch those two minutes. Why'd yeah. they cut it? Because it's too violent? For, like some airlines censor the movies, don't they? I watched I something. Any airline be- where the screen is viewable from, like the new planes, you can only see the screen if you're right in front of it. Yeah. Dude, Which makes it really I, confusing when the guy next to you, because the angle, you, his screen looks like it's off. Yeah. But whenever something bright happens in the movie, his face lights up and it's like, Where's that coming from? It's coming like right from the screen. I was waiting for uh, my flight out to LA the other day, and I was waiting in the airport, and there was this fucking British dude <laughs> on the phone, like r- screaming, like talking so loud, like motherfucker, like you're in public, why are you being so loud? Like Ugh. I had to get up and move. I was like that fucking asshole. I can't believe he's being so loud in the airport. How fucking rude! I go to the gate, I'm like motherfucker, get on the plane. <laughs> he's seated right next to me. Oh no way! He's seated. Right fucking next to me, and he falls asleep on the flight. And as he's asleep with his fucking beer, no, it wasn't beer, it was vodka. He had this vodka drink. <laughs> the flight attendant comes to wake him up. This guy sounds he's awesome. watching the Kingsman, by the way. He's one of the people watching <laughs> Kingsman on his laptop. Flight attendant comes to wake him up, and he dumps his fucking drink <laughs> <laughs> on his laptop. Was like, really? Yeah, I was like, all right, oh, cool. I'm, I'm really, shit. really glad I got to see that. <laughs> yeah, like, Straight up karma, fucker. Yeah. Hey, um. So I sat next to a guy on the plane coming back from, I can't even remember where the fuck I went just recently. I guess it was in LA. LA? I went to LA. <laughs> I mean, oh man, I had I had a I, yeah. It's bad when Big you can't surprise. remember where you go. Yeah. So I was in LA and I went to uh, the full screen offices for a meeting. The the LA Rooster Teeth offices. So your periscope. I know. So I thought <laughs> I'll just periscope because not many people have seen the LA offices. And so I'm very sensitive whenever I'm periscoping because it's live, I always tell people, hey, I'm periscoping. And people always say on the, uh, on the chat, they're always like, Bernie's always talking to people about periscope on periscope. It's because there's no way that, that, there's no indication that the periscope, that you're live. There's no indication. You're, you you're like a red something. light. You, you need a different light on your something. phone or something like that. Because some it's hand like, signal. 
And I just want to notify people so they're not like, eh, you know, like Barbara's like, I, you know, the Jews or whatever, you know, or saying something inappropriate. She would never say that, by the way. The Jews. Um, <laughs> but I always want to be careful about that. So I texted Adam Kovic <laughs> and I said, hey, I'm about to periscope my way into the building and I'm going to end in your office. If you guys have anything sensitive, shut it down. And he says, okay. So here's how it works from their perspective is that Adam Kovic said, okay. Then he goes, Bernie's about to periscope his way into our office. Bruce goes, take off your clothes. That's immediately <laughs> Bruce's reaction. Take off your clothes. By the time I got all the way in to their office and turned the corner, all of the Funhouse guys were in their underwear. Just like <laughs> down to like shoes and underwear. And oh, there was, was underwear there. I thought they were just in shorts. I couldn't tell if it was boxers or not. No, the guys who were in shorts, I guess, kept those on. But the guys who were in jeans, they just took everything off. That is close. Um. <laughs> And you're, like, and you're like laughing for like a minute straight afterwards on your Periscope. I couldn't, I couldn't help but laugh. I also discovered something about that, which everyone should know about Periscope, which is there was like a minute at the tail end of that one um, where I'm just kind of like walking and laughing. It's because I lost connection. And what I didn't realize is that Periscope continues to record even though you lose connection. Oh, and it just oh. uploads it And later. then it uploads the video when you switch away from the app. <laughs> so I'm actually wow. surprised it's not bit anybody wow. in the ass so far. Shit. Yeah. Actually, I'm really, um, people kind of get on me about it. I delete most of my Periscopes. But I, I delete them or so you can't watch them in replay because I, I realize people want to watch them. But I have no ability to edit them. And as an example today, I was walking around <clears throat> before the meeting talking to people. First of all, I don't know if I got anything that's inappropriate yeah. or like something that would make somebody look bad or a trade secret or something. You know, if, if it's said in the moment, you know, that kind of stuff happens. But if I record it and people can play it back, they can catch little stuff right. like that. Today, uh, I walked up to somebody's desk and their credit card number was on the screen. There's nothing I can do about that. I had to, like, delete it. And I know there's no way. It's like, Periscope's like... The resolution is... It's horrible. Yeah, it looks pretty bad. You can enhance. One time I posted the video on... Enhance. On Twitter, yeah. and it played it at the normal resolution without blowing it up to the screen. I'm not kidding. It was that big on my iPhone. Yeah. It really? looked like It looked like the tiniest little yeah, square. Yeah, I think it's like 144p or something, what? isn't it? That actually... I actually what? got into some, some not trouble, but um, I Periscoped us at Shake Shack. And I was showing my receipt, not thinking like, oh, the last yeah. one of my credit card number's right there. Someone uploaded it to the RT subreddit. Yes. But they were so nice that they blurred out that number for it's me. Yeah, the last four digits. I know, but what like. Do with it? You can throw your, you throw your receipt away and don't care about it. I know, but I don't know. It's just security. No, I it's get what you nice mean. Of them. And when we edit the video, we have that ability to like look at it a second time or something. Like Periscope just doesn't give us the ability to do that. You know, and like, it's like review before posting. I something. wouldn't want to be responsible for posting somebody's phone number by accident online or somebody's li even license plate numbers, which people are weird about for some reason. I'm not weird about my license plate number. And I've accidentally like geotagged myself like close to my house. That kind of stuff doesn't bag bother yeah. me. Not on Periscope, but like on other stuff I've done that. And it's like, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not overly worried about I that. I mean, you would hope also that if you accidentally tweeted your address or something that most people wouldn't go there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you never know, though. <laughs> you never know. You never know. It's like, no, you're never going to be happy to see someone... Wasn't there a YouTuber that someone showed up at their house because they I think, saw it, was pro, I think it was Pro Syndicate. I thought it was, um, what's his face, Shay Carl. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I mean, people have done it. They just show up at the he, house. Like, they took a picture, or, like, he did a vlog outside of his house, and someone was able to, I guess, see the background and see where his house was, and they showed up at his door being like, hey, I'm a big fan. I just, I figured out where your house was, and I want to come meet you. And he was like, I triangulated. Can't do that. It's like when the yeah. there was that video at Domino's. Remember that, where the Domino's employees were fucking around with people's pizzas. Yeah. And then the internet was like, okay, well, in the video we can clearly see that they're out of Dom. We know they're out of Domino's. We can see these other two fast food restaurants across the street, <laughs> and there's another building over here. And then they just triangulate. Yeah. They look like where in the United States do all of these restaurants exist close to each other? And then just narrowed it down using Google Street View. It was like that's where they were. It's crazy. You gotta be very careful. It's fucked up. Yeah. And we're not saying we wouldn't want to meet people, but probably not at our own house. No, just at places where it's planned to meet people. No, we had the best time in Germany. We did like a really last minute meet up in Berlin. I saw that. And like maybe like 50 people came. It was awesome. The it Versus episode you guys did in Germany with all the fans there was yeah. really fun. Yeah, I'm surprised cool. that there were that many people in, uh, in uh, Berlin. A, a day's notice. Like yeah. some people came pretty far. Like I talked to a guy who came like six hour journey. Wow. Yeah. From somewhere Man, else. Man, you must uh, have really been disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> when I went to... But it's really great. It was like the perfect amount of people. Like we weren't like really putting on a show or anything we weren't having to entertain it was just like, like hanging out. lots of good like one-on-one -on -one conversations but you also weren't oh. being swarmed by like hundreds of people yeah well Who's I just sat middle? with a dude for like 15 minutes at the bar just talking to him it was nice. that's fun that yeah that's fun. I, I, he bought me a bev it's just a meetup that's what I do those in almost every city I go to uh, I was surprised I had to do two of them in Singapore because it was like I would not have thought going to Singapore that we would run into that many people but Berlin Singapore when uh, Ash and I went to um, 
uh, Sundance Film Festival, people drove from Michigan to Utah. Holy shit! To come say hello because it was closer. It was it was it was the same kind of deal. I think they that's were in like the car six... like four hours or something like that. It's pretty far. I was kidding. I was kidding. Oh. I'm, I'm totally kidding. I, that's that's a huge commitment. I'm so glad that you did, you guys did that. Yeah. I'm so glad you do that. Because we we're stuff. thinking about it, it was like how often are all of the achievement hunters together outside of our office, never, let alone in a different country, or RTX. We were, or RTX. I mean, or yeah, let's play last. last in there. Yeah. August seventh to So the, I, I'm gonna. Center. I just want to show this somebody because I keep forgetting about it. I was uh, JD and I were in the car this morning. Uh, by the way, the kids are in <clears> summer now. It's awesome. They're having a blast. But uh, we were we were driving along. And it's just so weird because it's like this is the road of Mopac going south. And see the hills there in the background? These hills? That's not hills on the horizon. That's a dark cloud. That's just for whatever reason, there was a dark cloud super low weird. on the horizon. And it looked just like hills. Did, it looked like Austin was surrounded by like... Did you see that image from New Jersey last week? Oh, weird. <laughs> Isn't that weird? It looks just like hills. Are you sure did it's you, not Did hills? you see that image from New Jersey last week? What is it? On the horizon. It's, cloud. it's, it's not, clouds. It's not listening to me. It's just clouds. There was an image from New Jersey last week that someone took at the beach where they take a photo out over not the water. Not even hills. There's not even anything like that. The also. clouds are like that right over the horizon. So it looks like a giant tidal wave is oh. coming to <laughs> wow. the shore. But like that, it's just clouds. That's it's just really cool. The color matching is the same. It's like, <laughs> what, what people are like, <laughs> wait. <laughs> it's not even water run, or What is that? It would be massive, you know. Are we going to do a fan meetup in LA? A lot of us uh, are going to be there. For E3? Yeah. That would really make a lot of sense. I want to go with Greg Miller to Portillo's because he's been talking about this Portillo's. There's one in LA? Dog? Hot dog place. It's like northeast of LA. It's like in uh, Pasadena or something like that. Oh, or that. Glendale or something. I some have a shit. very important question. Are we going to go to the Waffle? I will absolutely go to the Waffle. I haven't been there since our first time in LA. Let's How many Dan Grishy specials are we going to? It's a little bit of a hike Five. from where we are because we're going to be in downtown and that's in West Hollywood. It's worth or it's in Hollywood. It. Worth it. Yeah, let's go. I'll go. Okay. I drove by that place inadvertently a couple trips ago when I was in LA. I was like, "Oh, there it is." Oh, I got a, I got invited to something too that I couldn't go to. I think it's like, it was like a week ago of the grand opening of it. But they have a, a massive. It's like east of uh, LA, uh, by about like I think like ninety miles, so kind of a decent drive. But it's a Twin Galaxies style arcade, but a massive, oh, wow. massive that's one. Cool. Interesting. And uh, I'll look it up here and show you the name well, of it. While you look that up, I'm gonna I'm gonna read this. Why don't you read that? Uh, I wanna nope. remind everyone. <laughs> <laughs> when I remind everyone, this episode of the podcast Stacey. is brought to you by Trunk Club. I believe I said no. When it comes to clothing, men all over the world agree on two simple facts. One, you look great. <laughs> Let me start. One, when you look great, you feel even better. And two, the time it takes to actually shop for, find, and buy those great looking clothes absolutely sucks. Trunk Club gets it, and that's why they've taken the pain out of finding great looking clothes by shipping you a trunk of clothes that fit perfectly and make you look amazing. At trunkclub.com slash roosterteeth, you answer a few simple questions about your look, so- <laughs> at trunkclub.com slash rooster teeth you answer a few simple questions about your look style and size you're assigned an expert who will hand pick clothes that are just right for you after getting to know you and your preferences your stylist will email you their recommendations curated from only the best premium brands you approve what you like and boom a trunk full of great clothes hand picked just for you arrive at your door try them on keep what you want send back what you don't in their prepaid trunk that's it trunk club is the easiest way to refresh your wardrobe this spring your stylist, the shopping, the trunk, even the shipping are all 100% free when you go to trunkclub.com slash roosterteeth. Looking great is important, and Trunk Club has made it easy. Only pay for the clothes you keep, no ongoing subscription, no hidden charges, just great clothes hand-picked for you. You're going to thank me on this, and right now it's completely free, so go to go get started at trunkclub.com slash roosterteeth. Stop laughing. That's trunkclub.com slash roosterteeth. And, uh, great I mentioned, service. I mentioned this before in the podcast, but it's great once your stylist gets assigned to you. Uh, like mine emailed me and she's like, you know, I'm your stylist. Uh, here's all my information. Uh, how do you how do you prefer to communicate? Would you prefer I call you? Would you prefer to email? It's like email, email, absolutely. No, can you, you do post? Uh, you probably could. I'm sure if you asked, <laughs> they would absolutely do that. I did not ask for that, but she just emailed like a list of questions. I went through and answered them. Um, like sent over some measurements and uh, they they suggested a bunch of clothes that they sent in the trunk. And at first, I was going to be picky about it. Like, I don't think I would like that. I don't, I don't know about this. It's like, well, it's no charge. I'll just take it all. Can we get the subscription Try for Aaron? Out. You're not happy with, with his clothes? Without telling him. He, I mean, he dresses okay sometimes, but he makes some choices that are very questionable. He, it's good his for him. wardrobe stuck out. Like, when he first started working yeah, here. Yeah, I remember I like, you, you referred to him as the guy with the cowboy boots. <laughs> yeah, well, who's the guy with the boots and, like, the floral shirts? And the Hawaiian shirts and yeah. stuff yeah. like that. Let, you, what you got to do is you got to secretly get his measurements. Okay. And we'll see if we can get him signed up. He looks okay. great without clothes on, though. So that's good. You would know. Well, I, saw, I hung out with him at the pool. That's true. The other day. Didn't see his cock or anything. 
<laughs> that is good. I told um, him to keep it in there. <laughs> so you were you were talking about Funhouse earlier and uh, how they took all their clothes off. Yeah. Uh, I saw those guys the other day. I was in uh, L.A. for the Heroes of the Storm launch event at YouTube. Oh, yeah. And, you were celebrity uh, endorsement for that. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, I'm a paid spokesperson well, for Heroes proud of the Storm. You got paid? Um, well, not personally. <laughs> Someone got paid, but it wasn't me. Um, hashtag ad. Um, <laughs> and uh, while I was there, like, I, I, I just so happened, like, I wasn't coordinating with those guys or anything, but we just, like, so happened to show up at the event at the exact same time. Like, I, I got in line, then immediately right behind me, Bruce was like, oh, holy shit, I know you're going to be here. So we were talking, we got signed in and registered, and I looked, and I was like, oh, there's a bar right here. Is it open? There's nobody at the bar. And Bruce was like, yeah, I guess it's open. It's early, though, isn't it? I went and got in line. Like, I was the first person at the bar. What time was it, you said? 11 a.m. Oh, okay. As soon as I ordered my drink, there was a line behind me. Yeah. It's like nobody wanted to be the first person yeah. at the bar. But as soon as I went there and ordered my drink, there was a wait. Gus has no problem being like, that first just person. No got to walk up and fucking take it. I've been the guy who waits for stuff to happen before mm. a lot. I'm just like scared about like it's not open or like being yeah, rejected. I just, I, yeah. I just walked up. I was like, hey. Can you give me some of that? You also like, yeah, what do you want? idiot <laughs> who like, stands at something that's closed. Just <laughs> like, so you got to ask them. <laughs> and, and they were like, oh, yeah. There were like three bartenders there. They weren't doing anything. And I felt bad because like, so the, there's a line instantly at the bar because everyone wants to get booze. And then like right across from the bar, like, not like 10 feet away, was a guy making snow cones with no line. And he just sat there, like, so dejected, like, nobody was coming to get snow cones because everyone was in line for the you, booze. And he's like, you, you're the trendsetter. Come and get a snow cone. <laughs> We uh, finally got alcoholic snow cones the other mm. day at Haymaker. Mm-hmm. We've been talking about it for like a year. It was disappointing. It Why was. was it disappointing? Gross? Uh, it wasn't very it, good. They just also weren't really nice about it. Yeah, I don't know how to describe it, but the, the woman who was making them was so rude to us. Well, it's not that she was rude. She just wasn't friendly. She yeah. was like so not friendly, it was off-putting. Yeah. Maybe I'm just, yeah, hmm. I was off putting What does rude mean if it doesn't mean not friendly? What does that mean? What's the, what's the line? It's like, like she wasn't mean. The nuance she here? just wasn't welcoming. Well, you yeah, talk so, I, I, I'll role play. You be the her. Okay. I'll be you. Okay. Hey, my name is Gus. I don't like talking to people in public. <laughs> Can I have a snow cone, please? You got to pick your flavor and you got to pick your alcohol. I would like a grape one with whiskey. <laughs> I, wasn't <laughs> prepared, I wasn't prepared for the question. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I panicked. I'll have a grape one with whiskey. Get the face. Get Gus's what face. What kind of whiskey? Uh Oh, um... Yeah, it's make, on the list there. Okay, can I make your smart? This is exactly like Gus yeah. is doing it to a T. <laughs> it's like we should have known the whiskey? process before. <laughs> <laughs> You're disgusting. No, it was it was totally like, it was that. like What did yeah. you order? What's your snow cone that you would order? Raspberry vodka. I would do cream soda and vodka. What Ooh. kind of vodka? It's yeah. on the list there. There yes. was about 20 different types of vodkas. Really? Yeah. She Flavor. had. I did I bet snow, run a snow cone machine. The correct answer is all of the vodka. Just dump all them all into one. That got the, the correct out. answer with vodka is actually it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> it really honestly doesn't matter about vodka. Jeff can taste the difference between a lot of different classes of whiskey. I can't yet. I don't have the trained tongue. Mm-hmm. But vodka, I imagine, is just... Don't have the trained tongue, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we missed it. Do it again. I just went... <laughs> there you go. Your tongue is trying to be part of the conversation. <laughs> That's what you told Tongues me. Tongues are really gross, aren't they? They're very gross. Why, why do they say it's the strongest muscle? Because it is. I can't lift up anything with my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried though? It's also no. not like yeah, you don't know. But what if like you got a like, string? But what's the stipulation of strongest? Like strongest, and like you put like a fifty-pound weight. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, 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 Is it strongest? I'm here all only night, at one end, and like most muscles are connected to two ends. I don't know what how it's qualified as the strongest. Is this one of those bullshit things that's just like another urban legend? I don't know. I think it's, maybe it's because it's so small, but like. But if I you feel compare like it, it's so small but powerful. If I, detach, yeah. I know what that's like. If I detach one of my Disaster? muscles at one end, like my no. arm muscle, <laughs> <laughs> or like one of these, what's this muscle? I don't know. Forearm muscle. Yeah. yeah. If that's I just like a medical term. cut one end off, I feel like I could flap it around like a tongue. <laughs> you just take it out and put your tongue in there and stretch it out. <laughs> you, you could actually physically, no, you would be able to. Would it just not work? Would it just it would roll live? up like a window shade. <laughs> Yeah, that's what happens. Um, like Have you ever seen someone with like when uh, someone it's under th- tension, and you flex the tension to, to you, move if, your arm? Have you ever seen someone with a torn bicep? Yeah, no, that's, that's a common injury. Exactly, it looks they look like Popeye because <coughs> the the Don't muscle. Don't put up a up. picture of that, please. I can't. Well, I it's can't. actually their, it's just basically their arm and the muscles like all the way up at the top of it. Like, Can they do like, anything? Like, bundles up here instead. That, that like, is one of the things that gives me the heebie-jeebies is when people have like the really weird shaped muscles. Like that guy whose arms burst because he... <laughs> <laughs> I 
You haven't heard the story? The guy who like no. worked his muscles so much, I think he took steroids, and at one point his muscles like exploded. <laughs> <laughs> not, a lot, not exactly how you think it would look when it exploded. Yeah. Tyler, do you know what I'm talking about? You know sports stuff. <laughs> That's not sports. Damn it. What do you think sports is? Well, steroids and stuff. I wonder yeah. if I can make my tongue. Well, there's a thing that there's a thing that people do to. Uh, what do you think? It's not that bad, actually. But there's some people who do that thing that's where just, they they yeah, move their wrist and they have flexing, that little bubble. Though. Have you seen that? Do I see it? He tore his bicep. Ah. No one knows what I'm talking about today. No. It's okay. So fun. listen. So people to get like ma- really massive, they take steroids. But then there's another thing that they do, which. I just recently learned about, which is um, they inject synth oil, which is, I think I'm saying it right. Um, it's like, a, it's like a, a non-comedogenic oil that you can inject in your muscles. A non-what? Com- I mean, your body won't reject it. You know okay. too much about this. What's that? You know too much about this. I, I, there's a guy I work out with who talks about all this stuff. Okay. Like he's, so, he's so educated in all that stuff. So he goes to Michael's and I's gym Andy. we go to. Yeah. And he, he, I mean, it's his business, so he knows all that stuff. What would be the worst muscle to lose the dick is that muscle Probably worst muscle to lose i would hate to like have no neck muscles <laughs> like that. That'd you feel like all your neck muscles rolled up yeah that'd like... be pretty bad listen the tongue would suck too or like your back anything in your back yeah just be like flopping around is there any muscle you could afford to lose sure pinky toe the muscle that does this Take it. <laughs> i don't need that yeah. what does that do for me what if it's attached to something else like what if that's like <laughs> it's tertiary function like, like you just cut this one i'm like yeah, <laughs> yeah like what if that's the top of your esophagus and you can never swallow again, <laughs> ever again? But why do you need to flare your nostrils? Is that for expression or is it for like Breathing? enhanced smell? Mm-hmm. Breathing? Yeah, to open up your nasal passages. Yeah, but you can, just, you can just just can breathe you guys in. Do this the bunny bunny noise? Nose? Bunny noise. Wait, you do you know that bunnies down? make noise? Like if I say what noise does a rabbit make? Do you know what noise they make? It's like a what chittering. Noise? What's up, doc? <laughs> right. He goes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what noise is it? Dan's got this rabbit. And Chitters. It, what do it? Chitters. Do it. Goes like, <laughs> like that, right? <laughs> no, Dan's rabbit. It, it does this. <laughs> <laughs> it goes, wow, it's great. It goes. <laughs> do you think it's really thirsty? It's trying to go water, <laughs> water. I just never imagined a rabbit. <laughs> Such a Wha- deep noise. I've never the heard a rabbit move. make that noise. The rabbit goes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna look up I'm gonna look up a playing rabbit sounds on YouTube. And Looney Tunes would be a lot less funny if Bugs Bunny came out from that hole and was like, whoa. <laughs> 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 I've never heard that sound. And Elmer Fudge blows oh. his head off. <laughs> <laughs> be the shortest series ever. And it right. shits everywhere and it like period so, sprays up. Here, here, here's what? something though. Why does Dan own a rabbit? He has yeah, a pet that rabbit? was my question. His mom has the rabbit. Mm. But they, they thought it was a boy, but it keeps spraying red liquid everywhere. All right, and we assume it's just I'm like clicking menstrual a, spray. I'm clicking a link here on YouTube. Okay. Without, like, in any way vetting this, this is just a rabbit making noises. Why did Bugs Bunny always get lost in Albuquerque? Why did he always make the wrong turn? In Pismo Bed. Beach. Was it Pismo Beach? He's yeah. trying to get to Pismo Beach. He's going to make the noise. Place? Here it goes. He, made, he took the wrong turn. I hate YouTube. Just post the noise. We're in U-Log. This right could be now. a minute thirty of nothing. We're in the U-Log. Is it doing it? Yeah. He's this is the U-log. smacking the duvet. We're all waiting. It's not gonna happen. It sounds like someone laughing. Dude, it's funny. Grunting like a pig. Oh, that's. It. No, that's a person. Worst video ever. <laughs> wow. Worst nothing. video there ever. No that was noise. the oldest guy filming it. Worst video oh, ever. Was it it's, a guy, family? it's a guy punching the rabbit, basically, <laughs> to try to get it to make noises. Do a different rabbit noise video. Here's rabbit. Yes, <laughs> let's watch out another one. Let's watch <laughs> yeah. another one. Let's do this. This, 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 this is only 42 seconds. This one's got to be only. good. Here we go. As long as it's shorter than a year, it'll be shorter than that last one. <laughs> good one, guys. <laughs> wow. <laughs> This is the worst podcast ever. It's the worst podcast ever. Wait, did it not make the noise? It's the worst. (laughs) That was it? That's it. That's the whole thing. (laughs) That was the whole thing. That was it. Right. Three 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 and out, right? You gotta find a third. I'm gonna throw up. (laughs) Fucking idiots owning rabbits for God's sake. Oh my god. (sighs) Alright, let us know if your rabbit goes or if it goes.
Or Morvin or goes, move. Morvin goes, <laughs> <laughs> move, move. <laughs> oh, God. Fucking idiot. Oh, that was that was awesome. Thank you for sharing that with us. It's so funny. And all those videos have like 100,000 views. It's really? like people struggle so much to make content that people want to watch. And here's somebody puts a dumb fucking rabbit honking <laughs> or whatever it's doing. <laughs> Tell Dan he could <laughs> film his video making the what, what, 100,000 views. Yeah. That's Bunce right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dan's oh. rabbit. <laughs> could be famous. Be like... Retired Joe the Cat. Rabbits are so stupid. They shit everywhere, too. Joe the Cat's way better in retirement, by the way, than he was you when he was You found one, Barbara? It's making like a... You were just bitching about Joe the Cat the other day. It's, what do you mean? What was I bitching about him for? What was I bitching about Joe the Cat for? Is that like it? No, it's different. So that's a chicken Maybe noise. like rabbits from different countries sound different. It's got an accent. That sounds like a chicken. Um, a what were you bitching about Joe the Cat for? You said he was a flea bag. No, he's a total flea bag. And that he's a total flea bag. He's a traitor. What is he a traitor for? Did you see him in the family or something? He goes. My he, there was a little family. girl that lived, used to live next door to us. She was awesome, and uh, she had a family, but we only cared about the little girl. And uh, she was <laughs> nice, and she would feed Joe pink salmon. Unlike Game like, of Thrones, like when they had pink salmon, she would like feed it like under, Joe under the table. And I was like, "Why is my cat in your house?" He goes, "Oh, she just comes in the windows sometimes." Like Joe would just go into other people's houses. She would Why Joe not? the cat. He's an idiot. Did you you saw uh, Shaft Shots, the short we put out? Yeah. You know that cat that's in that room with Michael? That didn't belong to the people who lived there. She said this cat just comes into their house and like sits around. Yeah. That cat was there when I was filming also. Yeah, I thought, that didn't belong I thought it was to them. their cat. Nope. No? I was just like, oh, this is a really cute cat because I met the owner when they were leaving yeah. while we were setting up. And she's like, oh, yeah, that's not our cat. It just shows up. And we thought you guys brought it. Crawls around. It, it looked kind of like Joe the cat. It was an Airbnb. Oh. Uh. Yeah. We told them ahead of time we were filming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We didn't just show up with Never a camera. Never done Airbnb. Crew. It's awesome. Is it? Did you hear about what happened in, I think it was Calgary? There was a couple that rented their house out for Airbnb. Mm-hmm. Oh, and, man. I heard about that. And it was, I think, two people who rented it who said they were in town for a wedding. And they had a party there <laughs> and just trashed the house. Like, unbelievably so. Like, I don't even know how it was possible to trash a house that bad. They Was that the one did. where they like rip the ceiling out to the studs and stuff like that? It's just like <clears throat> it's like they were purposely trying to destroy the house. Is someone gonna get arrested for that? Well, they only had like a fifty dollar deposit, so I'm sure they were okay. No, like I think Airbnb is taking care yeah. of the the charges. I don't know if there's a video that we could pull up, but it was some type of drug induced orgy. I think. <laughs> 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 it's, if only it was a racist orgy, then we'd be set. <laughs> With I, they they estimated it was about like two or three hundred people in there. What was the damage in money? Uh, it was like $150,000 is what I'm reading right here. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Just trash That's not even the worst of it. Listen, I I gotta say, I've been, when we go out, like on trips and stuff like that, I've seen other people's hotel rooms. It's fucking amazing what they leave their hotel rooms like. If I get a room service cart in my room, the moment I'm done eating, I put it out in the hallway. I've been on trips with people where I've gone like, for whatever reasons, like picking them up in the morning or knocking the door for breakfast or whatever, see the room and it's like, other people, instead of taking the cart and putting it in the hallway, just apparently scatter everything on the room service cart all over the room. Yeah. It's and then, insane. And the suitcase has exploded somewhere. There's yeah. There's clothes and crap everywhere. I, I might be the only person I know who uses the drawers in a hotel. Uh, that's, that's, an, uh, that's... So... <laughs> I do. I do. If I'm going to be there for more than, like, two or three days, I will take everything out of my suitcase and put it in the drawers. Who... Forget the video the of it? Oh, my God. There's a video of them actually walking around the house. We're showing a video of this house right now. Looks like a normal, nice, really nice house. I don't even know if this is it. This is what I found. Oh. There, there was a video of the guy who actually owned the house walking around with his camera. Is he crying? Vertically. I'll see if I can find it. But um, Vertically. Well, fuck him then. I know. What is he that? Is oh, my God. All the couch cushions in the kitchen. And they're all covered Ca- in ketchup? Couch cushions, bags of garbage and drugs, and just food everywhere. Why would you think you could just walk away from that? Oh, God. It was a drug-induced <laughs> orgy. Um, so you're talking about That's taking care of your hotel room? Was it a racist orgy? <laughs> <laughs> Everything we've, uh, we've, Lester has definitely upped the ante. Yo, you weren't on last week. Uh, I'll tell you more about that in a second. Um, the um, So one thing, uh, another thing really bothered me on my uh, trip at the airport the other day. I went to use the men's room at LAX. I go in, I walk up to the urinal, start pissing, and I look in the urinal, and it's filled with chewing gum. What? Uh. Like people who spit their gum into the urinal. And it's not like... There's like a filter There's there. There's a filter. There's yeah. a guard. You see it, and you know when you spit your gum, it's not someone's going to have to reach in there and pull it out. There's a trash can four feet behind you. Yeah. Why the 
fuck would you spit your gum in well, the I've urinal? Just... It's also it's like, how do you make picking up someone else's chewing gum grosser? And that's right. how you do it. Like letting 70 people it's piss like, on it. Cool. <laughs> I guess at least no one's going to step on it. But you're going to have like 100 people piss on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking gross. Yeah. Gavin, people... I, have the, I have an unlimited budget. What does it take for you to chew that gum? Oh, like, oh, oh God. Much... Oh, I don't think Gavin would ever money? do that. Are you going to give me like $10 million, please? Let's you do eat a $10 million? Let's do a crowdfund. Let's do a Kickstarter. How long does it have to $10, $10 million. million. You're eating 70 people's pissed on chewed gum in the urinal. Ten million bucks. All of the gum that's in the urinal. No, just... just <laughs> <laughs> if that made it worse. <laughs> you can pick whichever one you want. No, if no, you no. Say you like, what if you like spearmint more than bubble like gum? Six of them. But it's like, it's not, ten only million, is it's chewing, ten million dollars. not only is chewing someone else's gum bad, but chewing someone else's gum plus everyone's piss that's on it, too. I uh, know. Also, not only the piss... For some reason, people gob in urine all the time. <laughs> okay. Like wow. everyone who <laughs> comes up, to, how did you make it grosser? Oh, yeah. Anyone who ever <laughs> comes up to the one bar, like next to me, it's always like they unzip and then <laughs> Bernie's dying. They just gob. They're um, loogie. So happy you guys are next to each other. Onto right the piss trap. Oh, I lost my ability to swallow for a second. <laughs> oh. Uh. What, what? What? Like, what makes someone spit in a urinal? Do you spit in the toilet before you take a thumb? <laughs> all some the time. Spit. Some people Do have really? spit. No. <laughs> Do you have any I bad habits? Like, any bad, like, what can be considered to be like a bad, unhealthy habit or an unhygienic habit? Do you have any of them? For instance, I bite my nails. I don't do it a lot, but I occasionally will bite my this nails. Is, this is the, uh, the video. Oh, uh, there are a lot of police officers in there. Yeah. Oh, it's trash. Well, it's like they, they called the police officers right away. But it's just like this, this beautiful big house, and uh, I think the guy said that they have rented many times before and have never seen anything like this. Yeah, those people are animals. People yeah. walked away from this. Yeah, no, they just well, they was like, oh, you know what? Let's just go ahead and go. They'll probably like not give us back our deposit because we destroyed every piece of furniture. All, all the couch cushions are for some reason piled in the kitchen with like lettuce and, or mayo on them or something, and like yeah. pizza boxes on top of them, and like ketchup sprayed was, all over them. It was an orgy. Are you sure that's ketchup oh. and mayo? Oh. <laughs> they saw like they found needles and everything too. They're just lunatics. Yeah. Um. So the thing I read that about like, for Katrina. Where people were given <coughs> homes like out of like kindness and charity, and there were the, I mean not court, clearly not everybody, but there was like one or two people who just absolutely destroyed the houses, um, and they had no remorse about it. It's crazy. To at me. least yeah. there was no f feces. There, we, they didn't go in the bathrooms, but I'm there, sure was. there was. Um, <laughs> so last week I talked about a story I read where, you know, Premier League, the season ended. Yeah. So uh, Leicester went on holiday to celebrate the end of the uh, the season. And apparently the owners of the club are Thai, so they went to Thailand, <coughs> and two or three of the starters participated in a racist orgy. That's so it's, it's, a that's racist orgy. It a sounds like one of the worst things ever. In Thailand. So like they all get together and then only bang the white ones? No, they all got together, banged Thai prostitutes, and started yelling racial slurs at them while having sex with them. That's to me unbelievable. Unbelievable. That's awful. It's f and then they were filming it and sending video of it to their friends back in the UK. So there's video of this. There's now? video. You can watch video I don't of want a to. racist orgy, which, like, I read the headline. I was like, this is the most baffling thing in the world to me. Racist what orgy. What is a racist orgy? And yeah, I, I, apparently it's a thing. Set by and one of the one of the uh, one of the players involved in the racist orgy was the manager's son. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, really? Yeah. <laughs> I wonder, do you like, you, do you pitch that in the negotiation? It's like, what do you want? You know, it's like, how much, how much for the evening? It's like, well, what do you want to do? It's like, well, I want to have a racist orgy. She's like, oh, I know what that is. Yeah, what kind of charge? <laughs> oh, I mean, uh, number three. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. <laughs> Does like a prostitute like have a list of every possible depravity that someone has? You know, like stuff that we wouldn't even know the name of. And they're like, oh, yeah, I don't do that, but my friend Helen does. <laughs> Helen. Sorry if you're named Helen and you're not a prostitute. <laughs> Dumping on her chest or something. Something like that. Like, even that, there's got to be stuff beyond that, too. Like, you know, That's I wanna... the worst I can think of. Like, what? <laughs> I saw what uh, it's, 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 like, people with, like, latex is, like, I never understood that. There's just some people who like to be, like. You think that's worse than dumping on a chest? No, no, I mean, it's more bizarre. Like, okay. like just out there. Being I mean, duck build. <laughs> oh. oh. Usually, like, like somebody, like, dumping on somebody or something like that is, like, taking their body activity to the extreme. But I saw this thing one time where it's, like, someone would lay in a bed, and then they cover them with a latex-tight sheet. And, like, vacuum the, sucked it, right? And then their vacuum seal is, <laughs> like, connected to the bed. And I do what? Like, what is that? Is that well, it? No, they wait for them to, like, pass out, and then they, uh, don't they, they let them out. Don't they have a hole in there? For things to come through? I don't know. Maybe. I thought I saw a hole in there. I think they have a hole in there to breathe. That's the only well, thing yeah, I they had the little mouth hole. 
and I think with two little nostril holes. I, I saw the same be, thing on Reddit. I, it's it's just weird when somebody has like me. something that they <laughs> derive pleasure from, which would be horrifying to me. Like that would be I do not want to be immobilized in any way. You know? Yeah. No, that's terrifying. Like, what is this a fetish right? where someone says like I want to be like you inject me with a paralytic and I can't move, and then you attack me or something like that? I'm sure there's something for everybody, right? That, that, sounds, that sounds crazy. But I'm that sure sounds crazy. Right. I'm, I'm sure, sure I'm it sure. exists, and I'm sure the some hooker somewhere knows the name of it and can be like, oh, I'm sorry, I don't do that. Not anymore. I <laughs> just do that once a year. Yeah, I can't do it. Can't bring myself to do it. That's a uh, triple overtime. A sex movie <laughs> is what you're saying. Ugh. I mean, we watched that in uh, when we were in uh, Amsterdam. How did how did the Berlin trip rate on like all the trips that we've taken? It was good for the uh, for the people. I wouldn't say we were in the the nicest part of Berlin. It wasn't really yeah. Didn't feel very I heard the rain anything. smelled really bad. What was that rain? Mean? Someone, I, it was either Michael or Lindsay who said the rain smelled like feces. Oh, I mean, gross! No, there was that, no it, didn't, it didn't rain, <coughs> but there was like, I guess it did rain. But there was like that like, sort of sewer smell that's in a lot of places. Oh, oh sometimes you get that though when it hits the ground. And it's <coughs> like kind of like like that copper smell. Yeah. Oh, we get that in Texas a lot. Like it rains just a little bit. It smells like manure. It's just like we get. A, I always associate the smell as being like copper. I love that smell, but it doesn't smell like manure to me. It wasn't copper. It was, no. It was fecus. Yeah. Fecus. Like, it smelled it like was, it was urinal just gum. starts to rain. Gross. <laughs> so gross. Fetus. The, um, well, we took a trip to Amsterdam one time, Gavin and I did, and we went to, down to the red light district just to see what was going on down, down there. from Bardestuf? And you would watch, and Bardestuf is in the, uh, Bardestuf is in the, uh, red light district. But we, you'd watch people negotiate with, in the doorways with the, because prostitution is legal there. And they would stand in the doorway and have to negotiate whatever they were going to do, and then they would go inside. Which is like, if I was one of those guys, I'd be like, hey, why don't we step inside? And then we'll talk about that. Yeah. So I'm not like hanging out, like just here. getting sent away. Yeah, well, while the so tourists are like. I'm going to lie down and then you're going to put me in latex all over. No, they get you inside, then they nickel and dime you, right? It's like, then here are the upsells. Yeah. Undercoating. Well, the other thing, too, is like they would get. Thank you, whoever left. This was years and years ago. And people back when people had camcorders still. And like there were always dudes just walking around with camcorders, just filming the ladies in the window. That would infuriate them. Really? They would come out and like throw water at people or like bang on the glass because they have like this. It's like a like free willy. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But I wonder how they deal with that now because people have ca- fucking cameras everywhere. Those guys yeah. are just trying to free their willy. There hey. you go. There you go, Barb. Fucking set up. Softball. Just fucking crank that. Called your shot. What's the weirdest thing you ever tried? In what? In bed? Like food? <laughs> <laughs> Urinal gum <laughs> is the answer to both questions. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I'm not a very weird person. That's what everyone says. No, I'm... Public, everyone. No, I'm not weird. Not weird at all. Everything I do is normal. It's, it's all very vanilla. Yeah. It's all good. <laughs> Are you going to answer that question? You should never answer a question unless yeah. you're prepared to answer What's it What's the weirdest thing we you've ever done? What is the answering... weirdest thing you've ever done? We should not answer any Gavin's questions unless he answers them first. I totally agree with that. I've tried to do that for years and nobody will back me up. Answer it. Look. What is it? What, what's the weirdest thing you've what? done? Yeah. Uh... No, nah, nothing. I no? can't even come up with like a joke one. Yeah. Just bog standard, just You, you did her in the bar stoop? <laughs> <laughs> what about like any like, I guess there's some very vanilla fetishes that people are okay talking about, like bondage and stuff. Go ahead. Or, <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, compare comparatively, if you compare all the different types of fetishes, that's probably the most common one. Yeah. Or you just being. I find that people are pretty comfortable talking about like a foot fetish. Like, I, I guess because I listen to Howard Stern, and Howard Stern strikes me as a guy who's very into feet. Yeah, but that creepy guy's been, like, Tarantino loves Tarantino. feet, doesn't he? Yeah, well, I mean, it's like... Someone I, didn't believe me. I told someone that the other day here at the office. They're like, what are you talking about? Like, have you never noticed there's a fucking close-up of a foot in every one of his movies? I think about Uma Thurman's foot all the time. Wiggle your big toe. <laughs> yeah. It's like in, uh, the, the whole thing in, uh, in Glorious Bastards, too. There's the whole, like, Cinderella bit with the oh, shoe. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I never, I never put two and two together on that. Yeah, and honestly. then in Pulp Fiction, there's also that tracking shot of Mia Wallace's feet. Yeah, she's, uh, I bet Quentin Tarantino has done some weird stuff in the bedroom. Yeah. I, don't think, I don't think that would surprise anybody. I feel like he's had a lot of orgies. Yeah, has he's he had a drug-induced <laughs> racist orgy <laughs> in a house in Calgary? <laughs> I want to rent a house in Calgary and have a racist orgy now. <laughs> no, you got to go to Thailand for that. Well, I'm not racist against Thai people. I'm racist against Canadians. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> Can't confirm. You just have sex with them and just Do be like, apologize. By Canadian jokes <laughs> or Jewish jokes? Neither. 
Pro- probably Jewish jokes. Because, I would assume Jewish jokes would be more because offensive. Because they're, they're just so ridiculous when you say them, Gavin. <laughs> no, no one's ever, no one's ever like. I mean, is anyone ever seriously against Canadian people? I mean, is anybody like Americans. fucking Canadians? I don't they, think anybody's really angry with. Canadians. No, it's not angry. It's just they make fun of them. The people that don't like Canadians are other Canadians. They will, yeah. they will go out of their way to tell me, no, no, you guys think Canadians are so nice? They're dicks. I, I don't like Canadians. They're polite. Everyone's dicks. They're polite. Dicks are not nice. Unless they're, unless they're from Quebec. Sorry, guys. You're polite. You're not nice. I met a dude from New Zealand uh, in Austin, and we were chatting and stuff. And it was, once again, he fucking hated everybody from Australia. I even mentioned that Ashley lived in Sydney for four years. I said, yeah, my uh, girlfriend Ashley, she had, where I met her down there. She lived in Sydney uh, in Sydney for four years. She goes, I'm sorry. Like, immediately. There was no, like, pause or anything. He fucking hated everybody in Australia. And I, I know people in Australia are very have a huge rivalry with, like, even other, like, was it states? Is that what you call it down there? Like, well, Canadians don't like Americans. I think more than Americans world? don't like Canadians. Why? Provinces. Because Provinces. they, they see them as loud and obnoxious. What? <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit. I mean, you know that, though. You the know obesity how the rankings came out. Though. I'm always so pleased when, like, other countries are now catching up to America in terms of, like, obesity. Like, even France. Is like there's You're a bunch happy people are all getting fatter. I want <laughs> Americans to get thinner, but I also don't want to be like leading the pack. Was it, wasn't there, there was that stat, and I, I may butcher this, but um, what are the chances that we 20, would butcher a stat on the Rooster <laughs> Podcast? The fattest, I want to say, fucking the fattest, mark the calendar. The fattest state in the United States twenty years ago, I want to say, was Alabama. I believe it was Mississippi, but go or ahead, Mississippi, right, right next to each other. Um, and now, if you look today, present day, the fattest state in the union back then is thinner than the thinnest state now. Right. Percentage of people who are obese, obese right. by population. The state is thinner than the, the 20 years state. ago, the top one wouldn't even show up in the top 50. Because people were fatter? People now, are people are fatter, fatter now. now. People are like if fatter. the top percentage was yeah, I'm having trouble 20 years ago was 18% well. of people were obese, and that was the number one state for obesity, uh-huh. now 18% wouldn't even show up in the top 50 out of 50 that be, states. That would be the bottom. That oh. would be number 50. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> That's impressive. <laughs> that's that's some exponential growth. <laughs> that's crazy. Austin's a pretty thin city. How can life expectancy still be going up if that's the case? Technology, medicine, medicine. medicine. Yeah. It's like Wally. You saw Wally, right? We're all gonna be in those fucking chairs, just like spread out. <laughs> those people, they, they, they're bones living the are life. tiny and stuff. Yeah. God, man, it's awesome. You, would you live like that? Yes, but absolutely. I, I saw something the other day. I forget what it was, Bring but it was somewhere you could Guess mount uh, like, a, like a, a laptop, or a, I guess it was a tablet you could mount so you could watch it while laying down like this. Really? And I thought, who would get? Yeah, I thought, who would get that? And I thought, maybe Gus would get that. I'm all I was, about it. I've always wanted a, like a TV for the ceiling. That would be cool. I don't want to lean up and watch TV like this in bed. I don't know if I could do that. Just put a bunch yeah. of pillows behind you. Yeah, so you're, you're still like, sort of like your airway is like. Oh. I say, here's what I say. Here's what I say. Don't watch TV in bed. Why not? Yeah, I, I'm the, with the bedroom you. is for bed stuff. A hundred percent. For like sleeping what? and other stuff. Yeah, but you. I, What's that's the it. other stuff? That's uh, sex, Barbara. <laughs> That's what I I'm getting at there. Just wanted you to say it. What's that? I just wanted Apparently, it's for bondage it. from the fucking Dunkelman apartment. <laughs> I do feel like it's harder <laughs> to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's harder to sleep in a room that's really quiet. Oh, I don't. Yeah. I never watch TV in bed. No. Mm-mm. What do you fall asleep to? Nighttime. <laughs> 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 I fall asleep instantly. I'm I'm in bed and I'm asleep. I, I bought something today online. That go ahead. Go ahead. I bought this thing. It's like the most futuristic thing that I could possibly see. It's called Think. T H Y N C, and it's it's Thank. a it's a like a headband that you wear that has a big triangle right here, and it like people swear by it. You've it lost it. Puts in dude. like waves in your head You've that relax lost you at it. night, and it wakes you up in the morning. So that I'll do. I have trouble with taking a pill or a medicine that affects my brain waves. Did you, you sleep just really say, well though? I sleep really well though. Did you just say you? Fall asleep through the power of triangles and wake up and... <laughs> what does it do? No, what do you mean? Do you triangle skip, waves. Did you skip the part where you said what it does? I don't know what it does. You are having a laugh. <laughs> You're not wearing a triangle on your damn head. <laughs> you want to see it? Yeah. yeah. Like no how you're obsessed with the shape of it. Also, Circle, too. okay. Triangle, Is fuck that. Is it just a that. placebo that well, works really well? That's what I, everybody asks. People swear by it. I could see that. Triangles have corners and circles don't. Yeah, it's true. What does that mean? That's a show. No, That's more say, soothing. I was making a joke like circles, yeah. What's less soothing about a circle? No, I'm saying the circle is more soothing because it doesn't have any. Jagged You're not right. looking at the triangle. The triangle just. Imb- I understand that, Bernie. I'm not stupid. <laughs> if I have trouble sleeping, I will put on an ASMR video on my phone and listen to it. <laughs> like what do you do? Look at that. It's got the those are the bomb diggity. You're having a laugh. Here's my funk. It's a triangle stuck to the side of my head. <laughs> I'm trying. There it is. There it is. <laughs> what a, that's it. That's it. Wow. You guys, when I am like, when I reach the next level, you guys will be really disappointed. That, that guy you don't looks have like a he's ready to sleep. 
think. Keep the, yeah, or run a race so. or something. All right, well, we got to wrap up. Oh, you know, if we ever go to war, <laughs> we should never. Week. Here's a country we should never go to war with. We should go to war with Canada. That yeah. would be okay. That'd be a hell of a fight. What are we going to do? No, we it wouldn't. It'd be, be a hell of a fight. That's a big ass border, dude. We, have, we, that's we a outnumber big, them like 10 to 1. That's a big border. Or Mexico, I would go to. Here's we. who I would not go to war with. I would not go to war with Australia. Did you see the rugby lady? Yeah. Who got her fucking nose smashed and then goes back out on the field after she has a smashed nose and spits blood all over oh, her? Oh, dude, she spit the biggest wad of blood out. Like, blood what, bogey. She, and she's a great looking girl. She's and a, you know why athlete. she can still, still play rugby? You don't need the. Muscles there. That's right, because she got rid of the the the, blend, or the nasal flare muscles. But yeah, but she got busty. See if we can find a picture of that, Patrick. Oh, Look up uh, rugby uh, rugby goddess. What are they called? Rugby war. There goddess. was a vine of it too on a uh, on Reddit videos today. If that's faster to find it. All right, we're we're looking this up. We're you gonna really we're gonna wear. wrap up right after. This. Dude, it's it's you it's, don't it's really wear a triangle anyway, dude. I'm gonna wear the triangle. But you, you are gonna be jealous of the triangle. I guarantee. I, I have no idea. I was, oh, just, oh. I was just intrigued by it. So I. Uh, <laughs> I, I, Why? I, got it. I don't know. I was intrigued by it. Same reason I bought the fucking coin. That's her. Yeah, got her. Got her Ooh. nose smashed, and then she comes back out on the field and throws a like a really hard tackle with a busted ass nose. <laughs> and she's just like, go up. Covered see, in like, blood. It's like her in the locker room is the next photo, I think. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Nice. She's you know, pretty. Yes. Yeah, gorgeous, and she just got a, f a smashed up face. Do you think she squeaked after that? What's what? that? Oh yeah, making noises <laughs> like whistling when she's breathing. I was like, like, is that? that some code word for something? <laughs> okay. All right. Most people you break your nose. That's that's your day. That's your. What's your the coin like? We're wrapping up. No, so we're wrapping. Oh, you talked coin, about it last week. The coin is. Oh, you okay. talked about it last week. Talked no, I talked about it and said how it worked really. Uh, it was great. I don't know if I said last week that it only works in about fifty percent of the places. Though. Really? Yeah, it's seventy. Here's what. <laughs> what's now the you want to talk. Now you guys want to talk. No, we can save this for this. Oh, no, no, go ahead, go ahead. It works about 70% of the time. The problem with that is the whole purpose of having a coin is that I don't have to uh, bring my other cards everywhere. But I do because I need them as a backup. How does it not fucking work? It doesn't swipe. Some, some computers don't read it. In fact, it seems to be like if the computer has a swipe on the side of the monitor, those particular ones don't seem to work with coin. How the fuck did they delay this thing a year and it still doesn't fucking work. It just says card not swipe. Also, how is it inconvenient to bring more than one card with you? Th this thing's supposed to because solve that. Because we're dudes who have a purse. You have a wallet, though. Nah. I don't want to. Don't... Try and get down to it. If I get Apple Pay, you can kiss my wallet goodbye, Barbara. It's gone. It? What about your license? Yeah, whatever. You know, I mean, I don't. I, why do people need right, know who I let's am? Let's wrap it up. Wrap the, up. The watch does Apple Pay, doesn't it? Can so I people without a phone can use it. It doesn't, but the problem is nowhere takes Apple Pay. That's the problem. I've still never used it. And. Whenever we used it together, we lost all our crap. Well, that's not unusual for me. Gab made fun of me. We were on a set the other day, and he made fun of me for losing stuff. I left everything that I brought to the set that day at the set and just walked <laughs> away without all of it. Laptop and four shirts. Which wow. is why I don't know why you put your stuff in hotel drawers. That seems like you're asking for trouble with that. I, I have a system. Like That's another thing why I don't leave a hotel room fucking messy is when I leave a hotel room, it is spotless because I go through it and make sure I didn't leave anything. And then I always leave something anyway. Do you cut all your pillows into triangles so it's easier for you to sleep? <laughs> the plan <to> <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be listen. You're gonna be so disappointed. I'm gonna wear that triangle the first day. I Thanks go. for watching. Load of crap. It's load of crap. There's no. If we do a test, a fair test, one way you don't have. A, I don't even know how we do. it. We need two of you. Right. Here's a great idea. Triangle Shut isn't doing anything. Up. All right, that's it. We're done. You're a doubter. All right. Thanks for watching. Everyone. Thanks for watching, everybody. Where are we gonna go? I love you. Bye. <laughs>